Hey, folks. How we doing? I like to make you wait a minute. Sorry. I like to, I like to teach you. Is he coming? Is he, is, is he just going to... We're just going to look at this... <laughs> we were talking before, like, if I didn't show up for the stream, what would happen? You, you just see that view for about an hour and a half. But instead, we're going to be cooking. We're going to be grilling today. I hope you guys... Uh, I don't know if any... Is anybody actually joining me in grilling today? Like, is anybody actually grilling right now? I'm in Nashville, Tennessee right now, so uh, it's about, f uh, what, four, 3 p.m. East, uh, uh, Central Time, which is perfect, and it's just beautiful grilling weather out here, guys. I mean, come on. The sun is behind the trees. I have a nice cold water. <laughs> uh, and like a sort of tinted water, it's flavored water. Very good. Um, it's perfect grilling weather, maybe a little hot. I'd take it about three degrees cooler, you know? So, who, uh, who's, who, oh, thank you for subscribing. Tsutsuki. Tsutsuki. Uh, who, so, it's, let's see, two in the morning. Cool. Thank you for tuning in. Grill boys. We got one of the thick boys here. I just, I, I just want to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got Sawyer Jacobs of the thick boys. Uh, and uh, he's going to be helping me out uh, uh, tasting this stuff when it's ready. We need some third-person adjudicators to really drive home whether these things taste good. We learned a couple things about the marinades last time. Uh, there was too much rosemary, I think, in the marinade for the kebabs. Um, the pork tenderloins, you need one to mess up because it's hard to get it right the first time. So you need to mess up once, and then you got to have another one to do properly. Um, Thank you for subscribing. Tier 1 sub. Mercy 390. Thank you. Thick boys in the house. Hello from Barcelona. Hello from Nashville. How are you guys doing today? Sorry for the weird stream time, but you know, we're grilling. We got to grill in this beautiful weather. We want it to be nighttime, surrounded by bugs. There was going to be a billion bugs if I did it at night, so no go. Hey, thank you. Welcome to the stream, Devoid TV. Thanks for joining us. Howdy from Texas. What's up? Any stoners in chat? No, nobody does drugs. It's bad for you. From Europe, from Canada. We got people all over. Oh, got into culinary school. Congratulations, Superior Puma, 47. Congrats. Well, what do you guys say we get cooking, all right? So let's start with the, uh, let's start with the marinade. For that, I need a food processor. Yeah. Ooh, I have this really fancy, beautiful knife. This is a shun, courtesy of the of, of Jordan, whose lovely, whose, whose lovely house we're filming at today, is kind enough to let me use his brand new knife. Turn this around. That power over here? I need a little bit more length. Here, I got yeah, we need an extension cord, but I can start chopping stuff. Brad's got that covered. You guys might remember Brad from the last stream. Kind of had myself a moment with him. But look at this beautiful knife. Um, so thank you, Jordan, and uh, let's get started here. So I've got the recipe over here, the lid right there. All right, we're starting with one medium onion, roughly chopped, and this is one of those beautiful. Oh God, that's sharp! <laughs> that just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna pull. I'm not even gonna press the knife down. I'm just gonna pull it back. I mean, okay, it didn't go all the way through. But I mean, that's really sharp. All right, garbage bowl garbage. There we go. And I'm just gonna. This is just for the marinade. So, hey, Atlas, not for you. We got a we got a, a, a stream dog today. Always nice to have a stream dog around. We're just doing a rough job on this because we're gonna liquefy it in the marinade. So, just making the food processor's life a little bit easier. Plus, it is an absolute joy to chop this knife. I'm sorry, we're not. And uh, thank you also to Ace Hardware for providing these beautiful grills. Sean didn't provide anything. Uh, Jordan provided the Sean. <laughs> so thank you, Ace Hardware, for these gorgeous grills. Uh, we're going to be grilling the kebabs over here. And we're going to be smoking, uh, oh, and uh, the uh, pork tenderlo tenderloins over here. And we're going to be smoking some chicken wings over here. Fun stuff. Now, six garlic cloves. I think it might have been a little bit too garlicky, too. I don't know. What, do you, what, do you, what did you guys think? garlic wise. There's never enough garlic. Yeah, I, I could never have too much. That's what I like to hear. I was testing you. I thought it was perfect. <laughs> Jordan is a vampire though, so he... Jordan, you are awfully huh? pale. Sorry. 
<laughs> Boy, I can't get this. Ooh, this is some. I don't know if this garlic's old or what it is. There we go. Good. I need six cloves. I'm going to take these off my head because they keep falling down. I wish we could be listening to the Bangers with Babish playlist now available on Spotify. <laughs> Not seeing any money with that. I don't know why I'm <laughs> advertising it. I just like the tunes. I like the music and I like listening to it while I cook. But we don't have the licenses for that music so we can't play it right now. But I hope you guys are listening to it. Go check it out. Bangers with Babish. Some fun tunes on there. Did anybody say that they were grilling along? Did anybody see a comment? Yet. Somebody shout out if you're growing along. I can't imagine that anybody is. How we doing on on, on eyes? What's the numbers looking like? Things are looking good. Right. I like good. What am I doing? These are going in here. I don't need to. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's scary. It's so sharp. I don't need to meticulously peel these. They're going in the food processor. There we go. One. These are big cloves, so I'm only going to do four because you can have too much garlic. Despite what these, 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 these fools are saying behind the camera. Well, there's someone grilling in Nashville. Hey, well you should come over. All right. <laughs> Jay Birch 771. Jay Birch 771, you're grilling in Nashville too, huh? Let me d d really crank up those flames. I want to smell it from here, all right? Camera. All right. Ooh, these are a little smaller, so maybe I'll do more of these. A little, a little smush, that's all it takes. A little tap tap. The, that garlic will jump out of its skin. Sort of. Get out of there. <laughs> Anybody know what I was referencing with that? Uh, Vincent Slap Chop? <laughs> I shouldn't be saying so many products. <laughs> the remix of that is really funny though. The Slap Chop remix? Yeah. Hi, right, it's Vince with the slap, slap chop. <laughs> Alright. That's I'm, uh, I'm gonna do one more. Oh. <laughs> well you know you know what I say to them? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh no, it's spicy. This is one thing about raw garlic, it's so spicy. <laughs> Whew. I hope somebody makes a gif of that and I see it on the subreddit later. Probably good. Ugh! <laughs> Just hit the back of my throat. Ugh! Probably couldn't see the spray. Could you see the spray in the picture? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yes. I made cool. sure to, to cheat out the camera so you could see oh, yeah, yeah. all of it. Thank you. Was there a rainbow in the in the light well, that it created? Yeah. I mean, I think the camera work on, on it was really good. <laughs> no, the camera work clearly done by a consummate professional and an expert and a handsome man. I've always been good at locking off the camera and not touching it at all. You know, you really have, and I thank you for it. But today you're going to be touching it because, oops, uh, <laughs> but today you're going to be touching the camera because um, I need you to because I need you to turn it towards the grills, right? I can do that. I mean, am I right? All right, now we got uh, zest from one lemon. Oh, I need a zest. Ooh. I'm coordinated. I can do this. Uh, is, do we have a zester? We need a zester for the lemon. Uh, we can move on to other stuff in the meantime. How about some rosemary? Now, again, I thought I overdid it with the rosemary last time. It tasted a little bit vegetal and um, kind of kind of grassy. Just give them a quick recap of what you're making. Oh, so uh, we're making uh, grilled lemon and rosemary beef kebabs and vegetable kebabs. And the real trick here, the real thing to take away is that we are... Um, we're grilling the vegetables and the meat separately. The, the, your instinct is to put, you know, make make meat and vegetable kebabs because then you can just take home a kebab and that's that. But instead, we're going to be separating them because they cook at different rates. So you're going to have either undercooked meat or burnt vegetables or something. Thank you. Yes, sir. And so that's the real trick I want you guys to take away from this. Oh, I forgot about this zester. I forgot about you. But um, yeah, this is a this is you know, it's a really great way to make kebabs because then you just uh, you know fork them all off onto a platter and then you can just have your guests take from there instead of taking whole kebabs. We got any questions from the audience? I'm getting the garlic so they don't worry about the dog. 
Yeah, they're worried about the dogs. Is garlic bad for dogs? They seem to think so. Yeah, well, it's, you know, it's some commenters on the internet, so it's got to be Gross, true, right? <laughs> no offense, guys. But <laughs> Atlas, you're not going to die today. Not today, Atlas. Dog's name is Atlas. He's a cutie. Maybe he'll, meet, maybe, maybe he'll kiss my face later instead of Dottie, like last time. He kissed my face uh, when we did some Morris that one time. Yeah, I have a great, great memory of dog kisses. I'm also gonna juice this lemon in here. Oh, it's so sharp. <laughs> it's so scary. I'm totally, totally losing a finger live, guys. Tune in, watch Babish lose a finger live on Twitch. Only on Twitch, brought to you by Ace. Sorry. Ah. Oh. Oh, we got some great grills here today, guys. These Traegers, like Traegers, there's like a cult following with Traegers. When we, when we, t when I took a picture and put it on Insta, there were so many comments being like, is that a Traeger? And they're dope, they're amazing. You just throw pellets in this thing, turn it on, and you get a freaking, you know, you can make like wood-fired pizza, you can smoke stuff, you can, you can grill, just straight up grill. It's fabulous. Heat your house. You can heat your home, your home. <laughs> You can generate electricity in an emergency. I'm kidding, these are not features. Yeah, these are not advertised uses. Do not do that. That will void the warranty for sure. Of your house. Of your house. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm doing a lot less rosemary than last time because it was just a bit much for my little old me. Did anybody say that they're grilling along? I can't imagine. We got but, a Nashville guy. Oh, the Nashville guy. Grilling later, doing some chicken. Ooh, you doing uh, some barbecue? If, uh, making a sandwich counts. No, that doesn't count, but I, I appreciate your, your spirit. Uh, is, is it a barbecue sandwich, and are you barbecuing the meats that go therein? I'll Probably not. All right, yeah, get back to me. Sorry and I have a, a, a relationship as far in the stream. I'd like, I'd like you to think of him as Roz, I mean, as Frazier. And <laughs> so. Just as sexy, too. Just as sexy. Oh, he's got the same smoky voice and and uh, haughty laugh. Not haughty, throaty laugh. Throat. Haughty would be Maris. She's the haughty one. Haughty yeah. Oh, I love cooking outside because you can just go like this. This is good for your lungs. Compost, right? That's how compost works. <laughs> so, all right. Check the recipe here. We got a rosemary in. Let's check. Uh, let's let's uh, do a third of a cup each of beef broth. Got some nice homemade beef broth here. We're gonna to toss that in, boom. And then a th same amount, a third of a cup of vegetable oil. Somebody saying something silly? Just, now they're saying rosemary's bad. <sighs> Don't eat everything like goat's eye that. <laughs> it's just, just, just chocolate, I'm sure it's just chocolate. We're not making anything with chocolate today. <laughs> no, my, my spit neutralizes the dog poison. Yeah. You, you, that's that. Well-known fact, well-documented. All right, we got uh, beef broth and oil in there. Oh, we got uh, Fing Brock Samson, barbecue chicken and sausage on the grill in SoCal. Hey, SoCal, Fing Brock Samson. Thanks for joining in and and, uh, and cooking with me. Um, all right, so uh, just for anybody who's just joining, we're making a marinade for kebabs. And uh, uh, we're almost through here. Just a couple more things. We need three good old squeezes of tomato paste. Doing about three tablespoons worth, so just, I'm just eyeballing that. This is a marinade, so it's not. If I go over or under on the tomato paste, thing, ain't gonna ruin it. I promise you. And then we're adding just a li little bit of sugar, about a teaspoon and a half. Again, I'm gonna eyeball this. There we go. About there. Air's and bad for dogs. Backyards, air's, air's are, bad for dogs. backyards are terrible for dogs. You should never let a dog into a backyard, <laughs> unless you hate your dog. Oh, cool. Nice. Well, welcome newcomers. Thanks for coming and hanging out. My name is Andrew Ray. I'm, I do a channel called Binging with Babish and Basics with Babish, where I teach uh, movie foods and, and basic technique on the YouTubes. And uh, I love coming out here and then live streaming the following week the techniques that we learned the previous week. So we had an episode, a grilling episode, come out last week. 
And now we are just, uh, you know, I shouldn't do this yet. I should, I should process the, um, the marinade so we can get going on that. Meat over here. And I just need pepper. I'm just gonna put many, many twists of freshly ground black pepper into the marinade. Lots of salt and pepper in your marinade. Nothing sadder than under seasoned. You gotta sort of think about like how much meat are you are you seasoning here? We get, we got like what is this? About two pounds of ground sirloin, and then we've got all these vegetables. So I'm trying to think if picture all that food in a pile in front of you, and how much salt would you put on that? And I'm gonna put in more than I I just did because that that wouldn't be salty enough. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be the ticket right there. All right, let me just center this a little bit more so you can see the blending action. There we go. Try to make it symmetrical here. We are a professional organization after all. There we go. All right. Everything good. Here we go. Pulse, pulse, pulse. We're going to go ahead and liquefy this. Get this into a nice, smooth marinade. Did I forget anything? No, I didn't. That's all in there. We're good. White's barbecue sauce. I can't say I've ever heard of white barbecue sauce. Can somebody explain what it is? Oh. All right. That is a lovely, smooth marinade. So I'm gonna put this down here. I'm gonna extract this from the situation. Uh, there we go. What's now. the difference between a food processor and a blender? Cookie from Costco. Cookie from Costco. Costco? Costco. Oh. Is she like at Costco right now? Or just is that like a name of a town? Her username is Cookie from Costco. Oh, okay. I don't know why we're saying she. Oh. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Cookie from Costco. Uh, a food processor has much bigger blades and much more exposure to the blades. So it's better for like um, pureeing larger stuff like we had, you know, you could use a blender for this, no problem. But there are times when you're gonna want a blender, you're gonna want higher power, more localized cutting action. And food processors also are multitaskers. You can put on different attachments with this and, and turn it into a chopper, turn it into a shredder. Uh, uh, not, not the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles villain, but uh, the um, act of shredding. And uh, I'm just cutting the zucchini here into one inch chunks. Yes, fine. God, I love how quick you guys are with that. Thank you. Is it good? Uh, it's on the subreddit. We'll check it out. All right. So yeah, I'm just cutting these into pieces that I would want to eat as a man, as a man in the free world. And I'm just going to bowl these up here. Oh. Those, those aren't unisex pieces. Though. I mean, they could totally be. Uh, no, no, of all, course. These, no, 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 no. These are non-binary uh, yes. zucchini. Absolutely. Um, just to be clear. This, it sounds like organic, almost like, the, oh, this is all non-binary produce. Yeah. <laughs> is this too controversial for a... <laughs> Zucchini is bad for dogs. Zucchini is also <laughs> poison for dogs. Bad for dogs. I, little, also, you know, I am poison for dogs. If dogs touch me, they, they yeah. die instantly on contact, so. Got to be really careful around that list. Yeah, we couldn't show in the last live stream. Dottie actually... Uh, Do Dottie is... <laughs> Poor sweet daddy. So, just cutting these into you know the chunks that I'd like to eat, that I'd like to see on a skewer. Yeah, about an inch, half inch to an inch. That, yay, Atlas, what are you doing? Now, cutting the onion is a little bit more tricky, so I'm gonna do it last because I don't feel like it. So, uh, you guys might have seen last week we. Uh, we, ripped, we just, we just chop, chopped the head off the, um, the pepper and ripped out its heart. That's the easiest way to get the core out of a pepper. See what I'm doing here? Just whack, whack. Do whack a do, whack a do. It's done. See? See the pepper. No problem. And I threw away that, that other top. I shouldn't have done that because I can just yank this out and boom, I got some usable, fresh usable compost. <laughs> I don't know why I keep going back to compost. So I'm, I got compost on mine, you know? I mean, it's what the world needs. I'm a young, tattooed hipster in New York City. I, I think about compost. I'm in Nashville right now, so my, my compost thoughts are at an all-time low, but 
All right, so le some, likewise, you know, just cutting these guys into, you know, not bite size, but yeah, pretty much bite size pieces, one inch. So they're, they're so they all have, you know, uh, similar exposure to the heat and can cook nice and evenly. Eat the pepper. Are you not entertained? Is that what you, is that what you wanted? Somebody give me bits for that. <laughs> I want bits now. Got a subscription. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Who's subscribing? Morda Hum. Morda Hum. Thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate it. I want these to be relatively uniform here. And let's cut this into half. There we go. Sky Gravy wants to know, do you mukbang? I do not mukbang. Uh, little known fact about me. <laughs> I do not, nor have I, nor will I ever, mukbang. Maybe on a maybe on April Fool's Day, I'll be like, now we're doing mukbang with Bab Babish, the new direction of the show, now and forever. Oh, you're getting some bits. I'm getting bits? Lunar Huntress. Hey, Maybe, uh... thanks for the bits. I ate the pepper, so, you know, bits. Bits. Go. All right, and then we got the onion here. So uh, the onion's a little bit trickier. We want to, because we want to keep it in big old chunks, and that's a little bit harder to do. So I'm going to cut it thusly, so I can bet, best access the core here. Can you, can you, um, Brad, bless you. Uh, can, can you, can you put the, uh, the the other window in front so it's not delayed? Yes. Thank you. I would like to point out that that's uh, Sawyer's fault, and uh, I will not accept. Uh, okay, we're good. Here. Responsibility. Brad, you, you know, you're, you're the one who's standing there, so it's not really fair for you to pass this off on Sawyer. Like this is your shit, Why does this take he, he, He's not an expert. Yeah. <laughs> Ex-Hydra, 100 bits. Ex-Hydra, thank you. I'm glad that you've reformed from that awful organization known as Hydra. But they have, you know, cooler logo, sorry. Cooler logo, folks. All right, so we so basically what I'm doing here is I'm I got the onion halves. I'm trying to keep these in big chunks so we can add the chunks to the you know the skewers. So I'm cutting it once down uh, in half uh, lengthwise, and then just sort of cutting wedges out of that. Boy, this is a sharp knife. I'm gonna really mess myself up with this thing. I promise you that. All right, that's um that's all the veggies, right? That's it. Here's the pepper I was eating. Bits, please. All right. So, now. Sorry, that was loud. Can the crater put a sear on a steak or burger? Yeah, you can really crank this thing up. Um, it's, uh, you know, the temperature maxes out at, I think, about 400 degrees. So, I'm not sure about a sear, but I believe you can just get it nice and super hot in there, like 400 to 450 degrees. I'm not sure. I, I can't yeah, confirm yeah, exactly yeah. how much. I, I heard, but they, I've heard stories. They should, I've heard seared. many tales. Uh, yeah, they, 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 they assured me that you can um, get it nice and hot in there for like pizza making and other applications where you're going to want a lot of heat. All right, so I got my top sirloin here. And these are a little bit big. So I'm going to be cutting them down into probably having each one of these so they're more bite-sized, more manageable chunks. All right. Don't worry about cross-contamination. I have a whole crew of people that are going to be cleaning these it's just as soon as I get the meat off of them. Don't you worry. MMBG17 asks, are you going to do a show around the new place uh, when the I don't know. Is that we? Do you guys want to see like a, a behind-the-scenes video? Do you want to see, um, you know, the, the new place, like a little tour? That's all. Send you. Tell me what uh, the reaction is to that when it when it comes around. Yep. I have a feeling people are going to want to see it. It's a pretty. Uh, I'm getting a lot of yeses. All right. Lots of yeses. Well, yeah, because you know, you guys want to probably want to see what you've helped me to you know, sort of get into like the, this is the thanks to you guys that I have this new space to make bigger better content it's all thanks to you guys so might as well show you the digs am I right? Jim's wise only wants to see your bedroom. That's fine. <laughs> you sk skip to the three minutes 32 seconds. 
for that. Special vid for you, Jim. Special vid just for you, Jim. <laughs> Wait, that's an Eric, that's a Tim and Eric sketch. Uh, it's a free house for you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's free real estate. Following commercials for Jim Booney only. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm getting these guys down to nice sort of bite-sized pieces. Bite-size-ish. You know? I want to give you a good, good something to chew on, you know? Literally and figuratively. I want you to think. I want you to eat. <laughs> Does that make sense? I think so. Isn't that your slogan? Think what you eat? Yes. Think what you eat. Thank you, Brad. Alright, so this is this is top sirloin, so it's gonna respond best if we cook it to you know solid, medium, medium rare. But we're, you know we'll probably do two skewers, one at medium, one at medium rare for people who are wrong. But you know there are always people who, there are there are always people who are wrong and they deserve to eat too. What what is, what, what is hey, hey, no, no, meat's poisonous for dogs. Um, okay. Time to marinate, boys. Let's do this. I'm gonna do one of these on each side, so you can kind of see what we're doing. Yeah, you, you, you'll be able to see what's going on. There we go. All right, we got our meats over here. We got our veg over here. Uh, I don't want to cross-contaminate the veg, so I need to wash my hands, um, which means I need to leave briefly. <laughs> um, um, and so you will dance. And I, I, I don't know what else to say, but I'll be right back. Oh, they can still hear me. I can, yes, I can, yes, you can, can still talk. I can keep doing a live show. Do you still hear me back here? I'm going to the bathroom. I'm entering the bathroom. I've turned on the light. I'm now washing my hands. Can you hear the sanitation happening? This is a uh, Meyer lemon hand soap. Really pleasing to the nose. Into the hand. And uh, there we go. Almost. Nice and clean. We need to figure out a hand washing solution. Because I can't keep leaving every time I touch meat. <laughs> Alright. Were the levels still bouncing when I was in there? Still good. Alright, because I was I was talking the whole time. Yep. Alright. I heard. Okay. Oh you oh, oh you have headphones, yes of course. Alright, so I'm putting uh, you know just a maybe like a quarter of the marinade in with the vegetables, because the vegetables do we like, you know, too much marinade and it's gonna drown in that flavor. We want to we want to taste the vegetables, not the marinade so much. But just a little bit, just to get some some herbs and some garlic going there, but most of it's going on the meat because the meat can handle it. All right, so, that's all right. And I just, <laughs> I just washed my hands and I immediately went for the meat. <laughs> I'm a smart, smart man, smart person. Proud of you. Thank you. Can we figure out like a, a hand washing solution of some kind? Because the, uh, the hose. That'll work if we get some soap out yeah, here. Get some soap out here. Yeah, can we do that? That's the way the pioneers did it. That's, That's the way the pioneers did it. That's the way I did it when I was a little boy. When I was knee high to a duck. <laughs> so it's you a good say. <laughs> uh, well, so let's chat while my hands are meaty. We're waiting oh, for the hose yeah. solution. <laughs> they wanted you to touch that meat, so you did that. I touched the meat. You guys happy? Touched it. Touch that meat. So good. what's going on with you guys? Yes, let's get some gross hands in the foreground here. Nashville hose water ain't there's no finer hose water in the known in the known uh, western hemisphere. Big meaty claws, you're right. I'm gonna get you. Take my meat hand. Take take me by the meat hand. <laughs> Let me take you on a journey of, of, of carnivorous pleasures. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're almost there. <laughs> we're almost there. Should I just do the live show from the bathroom again? Yeah, I think so. Until I don't until know. we get the hose figured out. Okay, guys, I'm going to. Here comes, here comes Jordan with the hose. I think. Oh, wait, Jordan's right. coming with the hose. Oh, well, I'm just gonna use the bathroom one more time. Okay, guys, we're going to the bathroom. Amelia's hooking the door for me. She's very nice. Thank you, Amelia. Okay, hot water's on. There we go. Excellent. Meyer lemon hand soap. Very luxurious. Ooh, it's hot. But that's good. You want to always, I, 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 an ex-girlfriend of mine always washed her hands in cold water. Like, why? 
It's not doing anything. So you have antibacterial hand soap. This is hilarious. That, like everybody's just gone. <laughs> everybody's gone except for Sawyer. Only one thick boy remains. <laughs> I'm still here. Okay. Sawyer's still with you. But all right, that's the last time I'm gonna have to leave you because we're figuring out a rudimentary hand wash solution, even as we speak. Just gotta figure out the water pressure, I think. All right, but this guy, these are just vegetables. I'm, I'm just gonna do a wipe off here. That'll do for now, because we need to get these guys marinating, and then we need to get on to making our pork filling, I think, will probably be next. So, I'm gonna grab some, some plastic wrap here. To be more accurate, this is press and seal, which I love, because it's just like, you just press it and seal it. I believe it's available at your local Ace Hardware. I don't know. I don't actually don't know if that's true. But they have housewares sometimes. They have like you know, light bulbs and paper towel. Oh, so, Brad, welcome back. Good to be here. <laughs> we have uh, the meats that we're going to marinate in the fridge, and then we've got the vegetables that we're going to marinate uh, at room temperature. Yep. Curious. Thank you, Brad. My lovely assistant, Brad, everybody. Can you guys tell them the name of that plastic wrap again? This is, uh, I shouldn't be doing brands and stuff. Glad Press and Seal. It's really cool. <laughs> it's, 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 really, it's really cool because, like, it's, really it's not sticky like saran wrap. It just sticks to, like, wood or ceramic or glass and just, like, sticks right to it. It's so great. I'm not sponsored by it. I am sponsored, however, by the friendly hardware, uh, the, the, the friendly expert hardware people place. Yeah. Uh, Ace Hardware. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> no, Ace Hardware is very kind to uh, help us out with this episode. So, I am uh, marinating these guys at room temperature. Um, I'll just put them over here for now. And I need the food processor again, so as soon as Amelia gets that clean, it will be great. Uh, could you moisten this paper towel for me? Oh wait, no, this needs to be washed. This had meat on it. Could, could, could you bring that inside? All right, guys, this other stuff we can do while we're waiting for my utensils to be remedied. Why don't we talk about you? What's going on with you guys? Clean my knife. Oh yeah, no. The, oh, knife needs to be clean. You're absolutely right. The knife's got to be clean. Yeah. Brad, somebody. Yeah. I'll get him. We'll, we'll clean the knife. Don't worry. We're cleaning the knife. Don't you all worry. Yo, Brad. I'm sorry. Can you take this? Can you get this? Uh, get, get them to clean this. Thank you. Careful. It's very, very sharp. <sighs> so, uh, I guess in the meantime, um, there's really nothing we can do. <laughs> um, have you had Nashville hot chicken? I have had Nashville hot hot chicken. Hot chicken, and I gotta say, it's pretty fucking hot. Uh, so, uh, good job, Nashville. <laughs> you, you lived up to expectations and exceeded. I got it from Hattie B's. That's where I got the, the, the hot chicken. Any any better place? And just so you know, no, that is not Brad Leone. That is Brad, the cameraman. Brad Cash. Brad Leone, uh, we're probably going to team up again soon, so keep an eye out for him. Um... I think we're going to be doing some barbecue, actually. I think we're going to be doing a fermented barbecue sauce. You didn't hear it from me. So, what else we got here? Go Jets, go. Bolton's is better for hot chicken. I've heard that. What's the cocktail, Babish? This is water. This is clean, crisp, refreshing water. And then this is um, fruit juice. Hmm. Thank you. Much appreciated. We got our grates. We got some cleaned up stuff now. Awesome. Let's get this guy back and centered. Here we go. How beautiful of a day is this, guys? Come on. Like, this is gorgeous. All right. Got our meat mallet. Whoops. Totally marked up there. Got a word there. Should not have done that. Anywho. Um, What's going on with you guys? We're still waiting on the knife. We're almost there. Uh, and then, uh, 
I need the stuff for the uh, pork tenderloin, whatever the, the ingredients for it. And, and the uh, recipe for that. Thank you. <sighs> this is our first time cooking outdoors, guys. Pardon the uh, interruptions. I love you, uh, M M Mall Man 487. I love you back. What model is your watch? This is a Nixon something. I don't know what it is, but it's a Nixon. Here are all the things. Oh, thank you. All right, so we've got tools. Nice clean knife. Thank you. Nice clean food processor. This is where we'll be making our stuffing for our pork tender ones. We're gonna butterfly, pound them out, and hopefully learn have learned lessons from last time as to how, how to more properly do this. So uh, let's see. I don't even know if I need a cutting board for this one, do I? I think there was time in this recipe, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, so there it is. There it is. Thank you. Okay, recipes down. The, uh, th these two recipes so far are courtesy of America's Test Kitchen, where it's a really great resource for uh, learning how to cook. Um, and yeah, all right, pine nuts, thank you. Excellent, thank you so much. We got these lovely toasted pine nuts, this is my favorite part. This plus these piquillo peppers, which are a nice sweet pepper. They have a little tiny bit of heat to them, but oh gosh, these are good. So, there we go. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open those up. So, uh, into the, um, into, the uh, <laughs> in, 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 into the food processor here, I'm going to throw, what's the stuffing recipe? That's, it's here, it's here, there we go. This is just like a, uh, uh, piquillo pepper and manchego cheese um, bread stuffing. You got the manchego? Good. Good stuff. All right, we start, uh, since this is bread stuffing, we're gonna make it more like a like a paste. So we're starting with a slice of some high quality, uh, nice bread. Last time we used a, a hot dog bun, that was fine. So, you know, high quality, low quality, whatever. Um, and we're just gonna toss, we're just gonna break this up a little bit. Toss it in here. There we go. So, starting with a little bit of bread, one slice, and then we are tossing in these piquillo peppers, which I'm going to drain of liquid into the trash can because, as we all know, piquillo pepper juice is poisonous to dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get this by the end of the day. <laughs> so, I'm just draining these guys out. There's not much in there. It's just water, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's vinegar, I'm not sure, but either way, a little bit in there, I don't think it's going to hurt you. We're just trying to get as much moisture out as we can because we want a nice, thick paste. Can you see my face right now? Oh, you can. Hi! So... Is there a reason the cutting board is so thick? Yes, because this is the Thick Boys. I'm not sure if you heard of us. Uh, thick cutting boards are just like, you know, they're, they're heavier. Like, a heavy cutting board is really important. Like, that way it's not going to move around. I don't even have to anchor this. Normally I have to throw a, um, a, a moist paper towel underneath the cutting board to keep it from sliding around. This guy ain't going nowhere. He's moving the whole table, so. Peppers. Whee! All right. Peppers in. Then we got two ounces of manchego cheese. And this guy, I don't know how much this is, but this, this oh, point, oh, it's two, uh, I was gonna say, it feels like about two ounces. Um, Amelia is really just the whole reason this show works. So thank you, Amelia. We're so perfectly getting everything done. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna get the rind off of this, just as much as little as possible. I don't think you can eat the manchego rind. You guys can feel free to correct me on that. But you know, also stuff's a little tougher than the regular cheese. I want nice melty cheese. None of that nuts. None of that nonsense. Man, this is Bye. You want me to take a bite? Take a bite. You want me to take a bite? Do you want me? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna break that part off so there's no cross contamination or mouth contamination. There we go. And we're back in business. Describe taste. Tastes like manchego, which is a, um, I believe it's a sheep's milk cheese. I, I can't remember. Um, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a uh, sp sp Spanish. <laughs> God, I really don't know what I'm talking about, do I? Uh, it, it, it's it's an aged cheese. It's pretty firm. It's kind of like a 
I'd call it like a funky parmesan almost, you know? I think they meant taste more generally. Just taste. Tastes like cheese. Is that what you mean? No, no, it was like, you know, the word taste. What does it mean? <laughs> Magnets, how do they work? Taste is the sensation of... I'm not going to do this. Um, all right, so we got the manchego cheese, then we've got uh, a quarter cup of toasted pine nuts, pop them in. We got two garlic cloves. This stuffing is so freaking good, man. I, I flipped out the first time I tried this. And you know, it's even raw, it's really good. I would I would eat it as a, as a dip. But like, I would go so far as to eat it as a dip. And, uh, but but once you apply some heat to it, and the cheese gets melty. Jeez, jeez Louise. There we go. Uh, it, it just, it just soars. Yeah, that's two good cloves of garlic right there. Extract these. A lot of people didn't know you were on Twitch. <laughs> well, thank you, Twitch, for putting me on the front page. I appreciate it. Uh, and I should really, I, I don't know, I guess announce more that I, that I say at the end of every Basics episode that we do the, I guess because at the end of a given YouTube show, you, you generally stop watching. So... Uh, yes, no, no, I, no, I people watch 100% of your videos no, that's, every time. That is, you, you guys watch 100% of my videos every time, right? Um, so, uh, I, I stream every other week, every other Thursday, opposing the release of a new Basics episode. We're cooking what we made on Basics with Lavish last week. I'm trying to get two whole garlic cloves in here. Watch the bike when you touch your apron, they say. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, folks. Thank you for, for the feedback. Sorry about the feedback. All right. right. Oh, microphone. Got it. Yep. Shepard asks, does Babish play games as a hobby? Babish plays games. I love Fortnite. Fortnite's the best. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually have been playing God of War. So that's, if you want the real answer to that question, I've been playing the new God of War. I love it. I love how it's a whole, the whole thing is like one shot, one camera shot from front to end, from beginning to end. I think I'm about halfway through. But I've been so darn busy, I haven't been able to play much. All I've been thinking about is playing my favorite game, Fortnite. <laughs> Even though I'm totally full of shit, I've never played Fortnite. <laughs> um, Alright, so this guy's ready to process, and then we're going to start ma uh, make stuff in some pork tens. Oh, we need to uh, hit it with a little bit of thyme. So, since we're processing this guy into a pretty smooth paste, I'm just gonna, whoop, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a page out of my man Brad Leone's book and just, whoop, because that's what he loves to say, just, whoop. <laughs> you know, it feels good to say that. Try it yourself. Try it at home. Just gonna do a little bit more. I think we want, yeah, about a teaspoon of uh, thyme. So I'm just gonna do a couple more stalks here. There we go. And then we need a little bit of smoked paprika. So I've got some smoked paprika here. About a teaspoon's worth. Yeah. That's. Come on. Come on. That's about a teaspoon's worth. Smoke pap. Makes, makes great sounds on your walk whenever you. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's oh really sorry. Good. Did no, I? it's people are looking at shirt. It's like <laughs> ASMR stuff. God, you know. you're, you're, hey guys, can you hear me? Where's the mic? Where is it? Physically? Right there. Hey guys. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so there we go. We got this beautiful bread stuffing. It's gonna be so good. Uh, I love this recipe. Oh, it's so good. So all right, let me press it. There it is. Here we go. Nope. Hey, bug head, bug, bug head contact. It wasn't in my contract. All right. There we go. And lid this up. And we are going to process this for, we're just going to sort of pulse it until it gets to a nice kind of crumbly consistency, but a pr pretty much a paste. This is, this is this is turning out pretty crumbly and not really pasty enough. I don't think I I didn't forget anything. 
But uh, to hold it together a little bit, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil, or uh, uh, vegetable oil. Just a little bit, just to help it kind of bind, because it's, it's like, like maybe like half a, a tablespoon. <laughs> I, just, I just went like this. <laughs> this is a professional you're, you're dealing with, ladies and gentlemen. All right, that should help it bind together a little bit better. It's okay if it's crumbly. Just want it to be stuffable. That's all that matters. That's what I like the most. A little bit more. If anybody gets that, I'll be very surprised. Um, I'm gonna throw a little bit more in there. I wonder why it's not binding the way the way it did last time. It was. I feel like it was much more of a paste last time. It could be the. You know, you're absolutely right. It's probably the bread. What, somebody got it? Whoa. What a world we're living in. Uh, okay, can I? Don Sequitur? That's a funny name, too. Like this guy. Oh, geez, there's a whole piece of bread that didn't get processed. That's probably why. Let's try that again. There we go. Let's try that again now that we got all the bread in the path of the blades. That's a cool name for like a new metal band. In the Path of the Blades. And I, I, we, we, we thought of a great band name earlier. I don't know if, you, if I should even say it. I don't want people to take it. But I will. The name of that band is Louisiana State Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Something about that. Just. There it goes. That's processed up and off. Oh yeah, that's what that's what that's what that's what, that's what I'm looking for right there. Oh beautiful. I kind of wish I didn't add the, the oil now. Oh well, it's not gonna hurt it. I don't think. Let's we'll find out. Get that. There we go. Thank you. Thanks, Amelia. What's the next collaboration with Sean Evans? Uh, the next collaboration with Sean Evans is gonna be uh, in I. I don't know if I should officially say this. It hasn't happened yet. Soon? Very soon. I would say within the next three weeks will be the next collaboration with Sean Evans. Um, so keep your eyes peeled wide open. Okay. So next step, we got our stuffing here. It's a little bit liquidous. Can you yeah. show them the paste, please? Oh, of course. Sorry, guys. Here's the paste. See? It's unmoving. I'm going to go ahead and sample a little bit of it here. Mm. Oh, geez, it's so good. The manchego and the, and the, um, needs a little more salt, I think. Um, yeah, a little, a little bit. Oh, I don't, I, you know, I never put salt in there. That's why. I'm glad, see, I'm glad I tasted it. Thank you guys for prompting me because this needed the salt. There we go. Pepper. Oh, it's so tasty. The manchego and the toasted pine nuts. Make sure you've got your pinky out as you twist. Pinkies out always. Paw club. Just invented a new society of pinky out eating hoofs. All right, here we go. So we got this nice, nice, nice uh, stuffing here. Nice paste. Uh, I think I think we're gonna un unfortunately we're gonna run into some leakage here because it's too thin. But hey, this is a learning experience, you know? That's part of cooking, guys. You gotta mess up a little bit. Every now and again. There you go. But I have every confidence in those kebabs. Now, we are. Let me recenter here. Still. Is, is it still? Oh. Did it fall? Yeah, it fell. We, we got a mic fall, guys. Sorry, one moment. Hang on. I, I'm coming over. <laughs> Alright guys, sorry, we're just readjusting the mic here. We had it fall down. This is my chance for ASMR. Oh god. Yeah. Oh right. <laughs> oh, oh, this sounds so good to everyone right now. I know. Yeah, I know, I know everybody's loving the way this sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So <laughs> you guys are all brainwashed, man. Alright. Um, now what? Oh no, it's okay. So now we're uh, we, we're butterf butterflying these uh, these here pork tenderloins. Now, 
Uh, port tenderloins have um, a little pointy end to them, and that's really not going to help us in butterflying. So, you know, we're just going to discard these little ends here because they're too flat, can't butterfly them. So, sorry, deal with it. And a little piece of sinew there. And, uh, you know, we, we, we got some, some silver skin on the outside of this, which you can optionally remove. You can just sort of peel it off like that. And that is. There we go. Just grab it, pull it. Sometimes there isn't that much. There's some silver skin here, but it's, 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 not, it's not that bad. Um, <laughs> yes, Brad, why don't you zoom in on this? See what we're doing here. So I'm just cutting right underneath the silver skin. I'm just peeling it right back. Get out of here. And here, I'm going to put that aside so you can see what I'm doing here. Here we go. Just getting right underneath that silver skin. And I'm just using the knife to just sort of separate it from the roast. I don't think I'm going to get rid of all of it. But the more you get rid of, the better, just so you don't have those like chewy bits. But this is, this is ba barely any on here, so I, th I, th I think it's I think it's fine. And I'll I'll do a little bit on this one too, just so you can see what I was talking about. Look around this way, so you can see where the silver skin begins right here. Cut. What is silver skin? Silver skin is skin that is silver. Uh, it's it's a it's a tough sinewy uh, layer that uh, sometimes is on the outside of some meats. Um, and it, uh, it, it never breaks down. Like you can cook this all day and it won't gelatinize or break down like fat uh, or, or connective tissue or cartilage. Uh, it will always be chewy. So it's best to get rid of it if you can. Or at least cut it in half because now you don't have this giant chunk that you can't chew through. You've got like some smaller chewy chunks. That's not that bad. Thank you, Amelia. I don't even see what you brought over, but I appreciate it. There we go. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna have a little sip of Ruski here. Oh, okay. Now. Hey, Atlas, poison, dogs. Okay, so now we're gonna butterfly these guys. We're, we're gonna sort of butterfly them. No, we are gonna butterfly them. To butterfly uh, uh, pork tenderloins, um, you normally just sort of open it, cut it in half and open it up like a book. That's what we're going to do, but then we're going to take it one step farther by pounding it out. Um, so I'm just cutting through this. I don't want to cut through too deep. I just want to cut through deep enough that I can open it up flat. Just like that. There we go. It's almost flat. Still a little bit thick right here. And then you can just sort of feel where is it still thick, where is it still hanging on. And you can make cuts accordingly. Like that. Little, little tiny cuts just so you're making sure you're not cutting straight through because then well then you're out of business there we go opened up so I'm just you know this is why we had to cut off that little nubbin at the end because we want to be able to have a nice even oh we got some dog action they found the dog fighting ring all right <laughs> we got some neighbor neighbor dog uh, conflict. It's been resolved. The fence betwixt them, so don't worry. One dog, one dog lies dead. One dog. <laughs> Jeez, Brad. Normally I'm the dark one. You're dark. You're, you're darkening it up today. And there we go. I'm just flattening this guy out, getting as nice and flat and even as I can. Still a little thick, so I'm, I'm gonna try to go a little bit deeper. It's, it's scary because if you know, I don't want to make it through to the other side because then we're then we're in real trouble. There we go. Okay, I'd call that call that good. So now, one of my favorite parts. Another little cut here, just to, there we go. Okay, great. One of my favorite parts right now. Make sure there's a little bit of distance between these guys because they're gonna spread out, and uh, I need some. Um, I, I, can I do? I don't think I can do this with press and seal. Do we have any regular plastic wrap? I might be able to. Okay, I'm gonna try.
if, if, this, if this can do this, then well, this stuff can do it all. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right. So, all right. There we go. Got our, got these down, and let's try it out. Let's see what happens. That's working. We just want to get them nice and even and flat. They're going to be a little oblong. Like the, the goal is to make them into perfect rectangles. We might trim them down to do a little bit. Oh, okay. this is working, so. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of your pork, all right? Your pork's just as afraid of you as you are of it. There we go. Even these guys out a little bit. Make sure we're nice and even. I don't want to feel any thick spots. I want nice uniformity. Normally uniformity is a bad thing, but right now it's a it's a good thing. We want to conform. No. Yeah, look at that. Huh? Now, what we didn't do last time was trim them just a little bit, just to make them a little bit more rectangular. So it's going to make them a little bit easier to uh, to to, to um, stuff. So this guy's going to be tricky right here because I have a uh, I've got an, an angle on the end, on the corner of this one. So that's going to that's going to prove tricky. Um, but this guy's nice and even. What I am going to do is just sort of slice off these rough ends so we can have a nice clean end there. And then another little bit off the top. And those are looking pretty good. You know, I might actually cut this off. That's going to help. There we go. We got two beautifully flat pork tenderloins just ready to be filled. Um, in fact, th this part's looking a little thick, so I'm just going to revise that just a little bit. Like we said, guys, this is a learning, learning, uh, learning process. There we go. There we go. I'm like the way that I like the way that looks. Look at that, huh? These guys are ready to be s s roll, stuffed and rolled and just filled with all manner of wonderful fixings. It's a little thin right there, but that's okay. All right, this guy is really where I want them to be. So I might, I think this one's going to be harder. So I'm going to start with, start with this fella. Again, just trying to even him out a little bit just so he's not too hard to roll. These are nice pork rectangles now. Um, all right, so I'm going to, uh, we got the butcher twine. Here it is. Great. This turned into a real messy process last time. So let's see what happens. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do a proper truss. Okay, I'm just gonna do a, a, a lazy man's truss, which was my nickname in high school. What does that mean? Um, I kept asking the kids, "What do you mean by that?" And they said, "You're a lazy man's truss." I was like, "You guys are bullies," but you make a good point. I'm going off on a tangent now, and I apologize. So. Keep spreading this down right towards the outside edge of the pork. You know, this really should be closer to the edge. I'm going to scrape it over to the edge there so we can really wrap it up. You know? So there we go. I don't want to overstuff it either. This stuff is very potent flavor-wise. Thank you, Amelia. Um, this stuff is very potent flavor-wise. You don't need that much of it, and also you don't want to overstuff it because then it'll just leak out. And then, you know, what was the point of any of this? Why are we even here? Nothing matters. And uh, so then I'm going to toss a little bit of um, packed spinach in here. There we go. Just a little bit of spinach because that's going to, when, when that cooks, it's going to shrink down and it's going to uh, uh, just become a nice little layer of spinach in our pork roll. We got any questions or any uh, ideas from the audience? What kind of camera is that? 
This is a Sony FS7 with a, uh, what's the lens on there? FV4. 24 to 135. 24 to 135 G series lens? Yes. That's a nice lens. And real quick for the new viewers, what's in that mix again? Uh, so in this, th th this is a uh, bread stuffing that's been made into a paste, uh, if you're just joining us. In here are, is a jar of piquillo peppers, uh, a slice of white bread, um, two ounces of manchego cheese, ha a quarter cup of uh, toasted pine nuts, two garlic cloves, and some thyme, and some smoked paprika, salt, pepper. It's a really wonderful, beautiful thing. You know, I forgot to hit these, uh, these pork chops with salt and pepper, so, you know, again, gotta, gotta sometimes goof up a little bit. We can still season it a little bit, and then we'll just season the outside some, which you don't normally do, but it'll be fine. Everything's gonna be okay, guys. I can feel it. All right, so yeah, if you're just joining us, we're making some stuffed pork tenderloins here. And now for the tricky part, here we go. <laughs> I just know this is gonna be a gigantic mess. Let's hit it with some pepper too before we close it up. Go. You gotta always make sure to season your meat well because nothing's sadder than under seasoned meat once you get it to the table. Imagine cooking and then all your friends are like, pass me the salt. And they say it with that exact same tone of voice and they, they flip you off while they, while they say it. And you're like, I need new friends. These guys are mean. All right. Let's see. Okay. Now, how did we do this last time where this didn't happen? Okay. All right. No, we're getting closure. I'm getting emotional closure here. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay, let's really get that in there. We don't want to squeeze any of it out. Some of it's going to come out. It's okay, but try not to squeeze any of it out. Oh. <laughs> and then we need to trust this. How did I keep these closed last time? They just stayed closed on their own, I guess. Right, let's really get that in there. There we go. All right. And I'm going to trust him while he's fresh. Uh, scissors. I can use the knife. Whoop! String is poison dogs. That joke's getting old. Um, no, no. No, I think so. Um, in the meantime, I can use the knife because it's a very sharp knife. Jeez, jeez, the ways. All right, and I'm just gonna you just grab your string. Bring it. I wish you could see this better. Uh, bring it parallel to the roast and just sort of slide it underneath. You see, it's underneath, just like that. And then I'm just going to tie it up tight. I'm gonna do a, you can do a butcher knot. I'm just gonna do a square knot. Thank you. There we go. All right, let's keep it going. String, snip, underneath. Wah. Let's pull these guys out of the way. There we go. And tie her tight. And then I'm gonna go square knot. Gotta remember which direction I'm doing this. There we go. Don't let this guy come in undone. And it looks like it's gonna stay in there. It's the, that's looking like a closed system, I think. So I think we're gonna be in good shape. This other one though, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. All right, keep it going. Yeah, that knot looks kinda like you might have been in the scouts or something. I made it to Life Scout, as opposed to the homeowner here, Jordan, who made it to, what was it, Jordan? Eagle Scouts. Eagle Scouts. Oh. We have an Eagle Scout that walks among us like a normal man. What was your project? Yeah, what was your project? Uh, I installed, in a median, I installed a bunch of uh, plant life that could sustain throughout the summers of Texas, so, so it would always look pretty. For those of you who couldn't hear him, he installed a uh, some plant life on a median in Texas that could survive year-round, is yep. that what he said? That's cool, man. It's that's, also where Peggy Hill took her on. That's true. <laughs> Except it was Arlen. Or was it in... Texas. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to split hairs. <laughs> Except that was a fictional town. Yes, exactly. That's, again, sorry to split hairs. Okay. And now I'm going to start going from the other side, because that's just more economical for my mind and body. Less sleep. And just tie this guy up. Oh, I cut this one a little bit short. That's okay. 
Don't be too hard on yourself, all right? You're a good person, unless you're not. If you're a bad person, work on yourself. There you go. Let's keep going. And we'll go that. And we're, we're building a lovely, for those of you just joining us, we've got a uh, pork tenderloin stuffed with a bread paste stuffing of manchego cheese and piquillo peppers, toasted pine nuts, garlic, uh, thyme, a whole bunch of great stuff. And now we're just gonna, just just for looks and just so they don't burn, we're just gonna snip these uh, these long bunny ears here into more manageable uh, mouse ears. And oh, there we go. And we got some. Uh, I'm gonna do another truss over here because we got some spillage over here, and I don't wanna. I don't want to lose any of this beautiful filling because it's, it's really something special. I tell you what. You got any King of the Hill fans out there? Because we're cooking with propane today. We're cooking with wood chips, uh, wood pellets, and propane. I don't, know, I don't know how we'd feel about wood pellets, probably negatively. It's not charcoal. It's, uh, it's not charcoal, but it's the same principle. So you that's why. You are tasting the heat instead of the meat. But I like the heat. I'm personally a charcoal man. Or a, a, a wood pellet man. I prefer that over the gas grill, but the gas grill does have a lot of great applications. Like, uh, like uh, you know, when you got to throw a nice, good sear on something, you don't want to get all that smoke flavor in it. And th and for grilling these guys, like these, I don't want I don't want these to be smoky. We already put some smoked paprika in there. All right, so that's one. Let's get the other guy going. Carefully. You can sort of use the spinach as like a handle almost to just like stuff that down in there. Just really give it what for. Alright. What beer would you recommend with this dish? Uh, I don't drink <laughs> is the answer that I believe is what I'm supposed to say right now. Um, uh, I would uh, I would go with, you know, everybody's crazy about IPAs and sours nowadays so can't really go wrong there. It's good stuff. Um, I've been crazy about sours. I'll, I'll, I'll admit to being a, a trend follower. I don't care. Sours are good. Sue me. Don't sue me. Um, I mean, you couldn't sue me for saying sour, sours are good. They are good. That, that, that'd get thrown out of court. <laughs> Judd would be like, that's, that's erroneous. Case dismissed. So we're trussing this guy up here. We're doing the lazy truss, which is just literally just tying it off every inch or so. You know, How do you feel about toothpicks over strain for stuffed dishes? Well, I, th I think the toothpicks would not work very well here uh, versus string because we're trying to, you know, it's it's like this, you know, it's like, it's it's holding things. And if I were to toothpick this, it could still very easily open up with the tie. It's not going anywhere, you know, the, the heat, uh, uh, pork, Tenderloins retract a lot in the heat. They like they tense up because they're muscles. So with that, they would just they would just pull apart with the um, with the toothpicks. So be wary if you're gonna try this with toothpicks. I don't think it's gonna work. But if if it does, but tag me on Instagram. Show me. Prove me wrong. I often am. <laughs> and it's because I'm not a trained chef. I'm just a normal Joe from the neighborhood. What did that guy say, Nathan, for you? Oh, just a regular guy in the neighborhood here. Any Nathan for you fans out there? We tend to think that it's the finest show on television. What's that song? I'm a, a dandy. Oh God, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a oh, something something dandy. Oh, can somebody fill us in? If, if we if we hear the name of the oh wait um. I'm a damn from it's Dangus. It's close. It's like it. And you just, just oh, wait, oh, wait till oh, you oh, see so me close. do my stuff. Um, oh. Come on, come on. They're hearing that view. They're going to get it soon. Ah, uh, jeez. Um, um, uh, I'm a... I'm a... Damn it, that's Just watch me do my stuff. Watch me do my stuff. <laughs> that's such a funny, like, tagline for a <laughs> Like, that's like... It used to be like an old stuff. football taunt or something. <laughs> Just wait till you see me do my stuff. I'm a dad. I'm a uh, ah. It's driving me crazy. D D from from 
D D Dinas? Dimas? Dimas? No. Dumas. Dumas. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. Something. Something from Dumas. Yeah, uh, find, Finding Francis, which was just like a masterwork. Um, yeah, sorry, we're just shooting shit about Nathan for you right now. Sorry. Just a couple of Dumas. Dang it. Dumas. Dumas. Oh, wait. I'm a ding dong dandy from Dumas. That's it. God, it was a different time in our world. I'm a ding dong dang from Dumas. That's it. Those were simpler times when, when, when paper was made from trees and, and there was sugar and everything. People smoked each other. People smoked cigarettes like with wild abandon. We got something from Dumas in the house. We got somebody from, no, they're lying. Are you actually from Dumas? Suddenly, I'm from Dumas, Texas. It's Ding Dong Daddy is what it Ding is. Ding Dong Daddy from Dumas. And uh, can, can you take a picture of yourself in front of the Welcome to Dumas signed as proof? Or Otherwise, today's Dumas newspaper. Or today's Dumas, Dumas newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what's going on in Dumas. I need today's Dumas newspaper stat, okay? Thank you. Okay, uh, these guys are ready, so I'm going to start preheating the grill. Nope. Cranking all these burners on high. Is the propane on? Probably not. No. That explains why I'm not hearing. Smelling it. Ah, yeah, there we go. Shannon! Shannon, where are you? Shannon! Just when I need you to actually appear. Yeah, that's 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 feeling right. Make sure those are all lit. I don't want us to die in a. Gonna, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna let that guy preheat for 15 minutes until it's nice and roaring hot. Can we get these out of the way? I'm sorry. Some, can somebody take these? Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, and um, can we get a platter? Because I think I'm gonna start skewering this. All right, so guys, we we got 15 minutes to let this guy come up to temp. Can I? Can we do a ham? Can we execute a ham wash? I'm gonna go right over here, guys. Just just doing just doing a hose ham wash. Where's that soap at? Oh, it's hand sanitizer. That works. That also cleans things. Sweet, refreshing nectar that is Nashville hose water. Ah, thank you. Oh, it smells like hose water. I love it. Ah, oh, it's a spider on paper towels. Show over. Show's done. <laughs> Get out of here. Ugh. Oh, where'd he go? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He's in the grill now. I bet he's on me, honestly. That's I what's... Think, I think he launched it. Whoop. Sorry. Okay. Right. Let's clean hands now. Sorry about the uh, apron noises, folks. I want you to cut the last two strings on this. That's all I'm No, I'm not going to do that. So nice. just, just, to, just to make you guys go crazy. There we go. How's that feel? Is that good? You like it? That better? Snip. All right, Brad, we're going to be executing a camera move in T-minus 10 minutes. So just, not in, in T-minus 10 minutes, so <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can relax. Oh, I smell some uh, funky something. <laughs> um, got some cool neighbors in this town. <laughs> Pardon me, guys, while I execute a nose blow. Can you, can you Actually, mute I'm the mic? Go yeah, mute the mic the while, while, while I nose blow. You're not going to hear me nose blow. Deal with it. Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry about the uh, nose blow moment there. Um, so uh, my hands are re-sanitized and we got the grill preheating. I want it to hit like 500 degrees. I want this thing to be roaring hot. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, since here, do you want to uh, pan over to the grill here? 
So this grill has uh, three heating zones, like a lot of uh, modern gas grills, and this is a really, this is a really great one. It's got the uh, eye grill thing, so you can test the temperature. Speaking of which, do we have those probes? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I want to uh, keep an eye on the internal temp. Yeah, let's do two. Thank you. You got the app, right? Yep. All right. Because he lives here, I don't, so why would I have the app? Um, so I'm cranking all these on high right now because I want it to be nice and hot in here like an oven. But then I'm going to cook these over indirect heat. So I'm going to crank both of these guys down to low and medium low. And I'm going to put the roasts on the left on the left side of the grill with this guy still on hot. So it's going to it's going to keep the grill nice and hot. But for now, we're, we're blasting all three. Thank you, Jordan. And we got these probes here so we can keep an eye on the internal temp of our of our roasts. So maybe I'll just uh, get these guys in here right now. Do you want to pan over just so I can show the probe insertion? Um, so anyway, uh, here we go. Let's, let's put it on. Oh, oh, yeah, put it on this side. But we want the filling to, to hit 160 as well, so it doesn't necessarily need to be in the meat. And it's the most centermost part, so. We just gotta make sure to flip these guys a couple times, make sure that they cook evenly, because you could potentially undercook one side of them. Um, but we wanted to hit 165. I like to go a little lower with pork. Uh, Tenderloins. I know that's not like the coolest answer in the world because people freak out about meat doneness, but like I'm gonna do one more. Oh, we're out of string. Okay. Um, uh, but you know, these the, 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 the five degrees probably won't kill you. You know, I'm I'm not gonna make a controversial statement. FDA recommends 165 degrees Fahrenheit internal temperature. Cook your meat fully, but I like to I like to live uh, a little a little on the wild side. Oh, that's good. Interesting, you usually fall terribly ill after you eat pork. I'm sorry? You usually fall so ill after you eat pork. Yeah, no, it's weird. I always get sick after I eat pork. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> mm. All right. Let's see how we're doing over here. All right, we're at 400 degrees, so like five more minutes, and then we're going to toss these guys on there. Because I want this guy to be around 500 degrees so we can start building up a nice crust. Uh, I'm, I'm also going to, can you pan over to the grill? I'm going to do a little get those tongs over there. So this is something I didn't do last time and oh boy I paid for it. Did you already brush this guy down? Yes. I Thank did. you. So what I'm going to do is uh, grab uh, some paper towels here and I'm just going to wet them with a little bit of vegetable oil. As uh, what's his name? Check off let's say from Star Trek. Oh! Too much. It's alright. Just need a little bit of oil there. That's good. Oil's poisonous for dogs, so it's that easy to get out of here. Alright, there we go. We got a nice coating of oil there. And I'm going to open this guy up and just brush him down with a little bit of oil. And that's going to help keep the, uh, the tenderloins from sticking too much. They're still going to stick, but not as bad as they would without this. There we go. Close her back up into the trash. Heat's poisonous for dogs. There we go. Sore spiders, and that spider's loose somewhere. I think he's on me. He's made a home in, on my body. All right, what are we talking about, guys? We got 100 more degrees to kill. What's going on? You're so hot. Why didn't you tell me about these, Sawyer? Well, <laughs> you are. Thank you. Oil up my rack. Oh, somebody's, somebody's having some fun here. Um, salt and pepper. I, you know, I salt and peppered the interior. All good. Hey, thank you for subscribing, Shadower2200. Thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming out. This is your first time here. Can you try refreshing the page? Because I don't see the, the, view, the viewer numbers. Let's see what happens if you refresh that. What are we, get? What are we working with? Oh, my God! That's all-time high. The, the, the pre previous high was um, 3,000. Got 10,000 active viewers in here. What's up, guys? Thanks for coming and hanging out. Appreciate it. And sorry, can you bring the, uh, oh yeah, yeah, there we go, thank you. Oh man, thank you guys so much for, for hanging out, that's so nice. Um, I hope you guys are having a good time, we're just out here grilling, enjoying the, uh, the lovely Nashville, Tennessee weather. We did have 15. 15? 15? Yeah. You had like 15. I had 15,000? I took a screenshot. My goodness gracious, <laughs> my, oh my stars and garters. <laughs> well, mm. well, that's very good um, apple juice. Thank you for the apple juice that I have in the 
tumbler, tumbler glass. Is Kevin like freaking out right now? <laughs> Alright, well, um, yeah, we're just waiting for this guy to bring you. We got like uh, 50 more degrees to go. For those of you who are newcomers, we're uh, grilling uh, pork tenderloin stuff with manchego cheese and uh, some, some bread and um, toasted pine nuts, garlic, uh, uh, piquillo peppers. Really delicious. This is one of my favorite, really simple uh, grilling dishes. And then we're going to grill some kebabs and then we're going to smoke some chicken wings. Smoke and grill some chicken wings co combo situation. Um, yeah. And we're not losing, you know, we're losing a little filling here, but not that much. So I think we're going to be okay. Um, and, I'm, and we're just waiting for this grill to get up to 500 degrees, which is nearly there. And then we're going to toss them on. We're going to grill them for about, uh, <laughs> we're going to grill them. I think last time it took about 25 minutes, maybe, I think. Why the spinach? You want to make it no, no, I mean, it's going to put out a little bit of moisture, but um, the spinach, I think uh, it's it's nice, like it, it, it tastes nice in there with the stuffing, but also it's a great handle to sort of grab the pork as you're rolling it. You need something there, otherwise your fingers are just going straight in the stuffing, and that sort of keeps it localized and keeps it inside. Uh, and yeah, the spinach is going to put out a little bit of moisture, but it's not going to be that bad. Any other questions? Who is the sponsor? Uh, the sponsor the, today, Ace Hardware is helping us out with these grills, and and uh, we got some really cool grills here. We got a Traeger over here. It's like people love the Traeger. Like I was saying before, it's got like cult status. Um, and then this is a Weber. It's got you know some some digital probe plugins, and it's got an app so you can monitor your meat. So I'm going to be monitoring this meat. Oh, well, I'm gonna wait till I put them oh, on. Yeah. Makes sense. yeah. Um, all right, we're almost there. I mean, we're at 475. I'm gonna throw them on. It should be fun. Okay, open her up as fast as possible. Pan on over. Thank you. And let's get these bad boys on. That was poisonous in all respects. Those are on. And now I'm gonna grab the cables and feed them through this little joint right here. Close this up, and then I'm gonna turn these two burners down to medium low because I want to. Uh, this is called indirect grilling. Uh, indirect grilling is when you have a more powerful heat source that you're using as your primary source of heat, so your grill acts more like an oven than a searing machine. Unless. Okay. Got to plug these guys in. Let me know if you're getting readings on your phone over there. Hit that button on the top there. Oh, I got to hit the button. Should be oh, there it is. All right. It's pairing. It's a Bluetooth thing, I believe. Bluetooth doodad. And, uh, yeah. Let's go. That barbecue's too much. All right, great. 77 degrees. That's a little, a little warm for meat. <laughs> But that's, dude, we've been outside for a little while, so whatever. Uh, can we can we get this? Uh, can we strike this? And uh, next up, um, can we get a platter? And oh, it's right there. A platter's great. Thank you. Great. I'm I'm just gonna give this a little wipe down quick. Got to keep a nice, uh, clean workstation, folks. How would you recommend really something like garlic? Oh my goodness. I mean, high heats. Like think think of think of you know. Think of your grill the way you think of your oven. Like, if you want to grill garlic bread in your oven, you're going to use your broiler because you want to get a nice, fast uh, uh, crust on there without burning, without it being too, you know, stiff. So, think, so super high heat, you want to sear it. You want to hit it real fast so you get a nice, soft bread in the middle. Here's the meat. Here's the rest. Thank you very much. Got my skewers. There we go. All right, can, uh, can, we, can we rack focus up here? We're a little soft mm -hmm. up here. Right about here. My yeah. fingers are tap dancing. Do, 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 do. Right. Thank you. Uh, platter, platter time. Stop. Platter time. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna start skewering. Let's uh, let's start with the uh, vegetables, I suppose. That way I'm not cross contaminating. Ah, see, see, start with the vegetables, so you're not cross contaminating. Not that it really matters because they're both going on a, on a heat source, but whatever. Um, 
Oh, how did, how did this happen? This is like one of those old magic tricks. There we go. Have you ever done that stuffing with chicken or something? Uh, I have not. I've only ever tried it with pork. I think it would go great with chicken. I don't think it would go as well with beef. Um, it goes really good with pork because pork kind of stands on its own and it's a very strong set of flavors. Um, so, okay, skewering, we're just, uh, we're, 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 just, we're just alternating in a pattern here. I'm going to go uh, zucchini, red pepper, green pepper, and I'm going to go onion chunk. And to help that along, you can just kind of... And there you go. And just keep repeating that over and over until you're dead. How, how are the levels? Levels good? The mic's still in place? Sounds good. we got a slippery mic here, folks. If I start to go quiet, that's why. Not because I'm shy. Not because I'm terribly shy. Why did I do that? See, if I, if I, if I start not concentrating on what I'm doing, <laughs> I lose it. So, all right. Red pepper. Green pepper. This, uh, this marinade smells an awful lot like uh, the uh, salad dressing you get at, like a hibachi place. Mm. Except that's carrot and ginger, so I don't know why it smells like that, because neither of those things are in here. Oh well. Oh well. So, we're just lining these guys up. We're just going to do two skewers today. Don't worry, we're not going to let the food go to waste. Uh, but we're just going to do two skewers for the sake of time, because, you know... Don't want to keep you guys here all day. But then again, isn't it better if you live stream longer? Isn't that like a good thing? The longer you stream, the better. Something like that. As long as you don't waste the food, that's all they care about. Well, I'm not going to waste the food. Don't worry, guys. I got a, I got a hungry crew here that needs to be fed. Except we just went to, uh, what was the name of that place? Arnold's. Arnold's. We just went to Arnold's here in Nashville. Any, any fans? I bet there are. And it's, it's what's called a, a meet and three. It's a meat and three ve vegetable or whatever sides, and uh, gosh, it's good. Gosh, all almighty, it's just so dang good. So, oh, and you know, three. Mm -hmm. Astro's got it. There you go, Astro. So, uh, big tip here, uh, and I mentioned this earlier, but for anybody who's joining us, you'll notice I'm just doing a vegetable skewer, and then I'm just going to do a meat skewer. That is because these things cook at different rates and you'll, you'll, you'll either have undercooked meat or burnt vegetables or whatever and uh, th this is just a, a more effective way to do it keep your your meat and your vegetables on separate skewers and then once you're done when you're ready to serve uh, just lay them all out on a, on, a, on a platter like this one it just struck me that Luann's last name was platter and that's pretty funny yeah um, onion and then zook can somebody check my math, please? Does this look like it's all alternating in the correct pattern? I think so. Check my math while I'm working on the next one, please. Thank you. Okay. Starting again with some zook. What's your, what's your guys' favorite vegetable to have off the grill here? Because, like, I love when these vegetables get nice and charred and soft and smoky. What's, what's your guys' favorite to have off the grill? You shout it out. Zook. Zook. For me, it's probably peppers. I love red peppers. I love roasted red peppers. Corn, shrooms, pineapple. Pineapple. Oh, I'm mean, no grilled pineapple is dope. So yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna knock, knock that. Yeah, the onion here is really the unsung hero of the of the genre. Um, because it's, it's just so nice. It gets nice and sweet. How we doing on temps there? How we doing on temps in the? Oh, let's yeah, see. thank you. We're checking temps via the Bluetooth uh, app. That... 98 and 84. Okay, that's interesting. Those are so so far apart. Um, but that's fine because we can... Uh, help. I also need to flip these very soon. So can somebody tell me when, like, somebody set a timer for like five minutes? And then I'm going to give them a flip. Thank you. Brussels sprouts. Oh, Brussels sprouts on the grill. What am I thinking with this, with this basic nonsense? This is pretty though, right? I mean, gotta yeah. love a good vegetable skewer. Can you tell me what's in the marinade once again? So, this marinade is a combination of um, rosemary, garlic, uh, tomato paste, beef stock, a little bit of sugar, salt, pepper, 
um, and one whole onion. I believe that was everything. So it's a and, and lemon zest, lemon juice. So it's a lemon rosemary uh, uh, marinade. It's 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 a little chunky. It's not like totally liquidous, um, and it's really good. It's it's really a tasty thing. You just got to go easy on the rosemary. I, I I goofed up last time. I also just goofed up right now. I put on an onion out of order. I'm so sorry, guys. We're gonna have one out of order here. Check his math. Check his math. Don't check the math on this one. This one has a known error. Liquidus. Is it liquidus or liquidus? Liquidus. Liquidus. I'm liking all these spellings. You guys are so creative. What sign reference did you just do? I didn't do a sign reference. You thought you did. Somebody yell out what the sign reference I just did is, because I don't know what it is. Oh, I'm, I'm talking too much and I'm totally out of order on this one. This one's, <laughs> this one's a mess. It doesn't matter. I don't matter. care. At the end of the day... Does the order affect the taste? Yes. No. Um, it, 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 it just, it's just for prettiness and it's generally in the right order. I just mixed up a couple onions and peppers. It's not that good. Um, I'm going to do one more. Let's Laundryman? Get... Laundryman's on the way! Laundryman! And I got a special guest. One of the thick boys. Thick boys. I, I mean, we have like 10,000 people here who don't know who the thick boys are. We refer to ourselves colloquially as the thick boys sometimes. And we say to one another in, in, in um, a gesture of goodwill, bone apple teeth. Remember? Yes, that is thick spelled with two C's. How are we doing on that five minutes? We are two minutes and 37 seconds. Nailed it halfway. Halfway. Perfect. Every time. All right, so we got some beef in the same marinade, a lot more of it. Went very light on the marinade with the vegetables because the vegetable flavor is so delicate, we don't want to overwhelm it. But the beef, the beef can handle it. So, I've had this beef going for, oh, about, what, 45 minutes now? Ideally, you want to go for like an hour, but you know, we're trying to get things done here, so. It's been an hour? It has been an hour. It's been an hour. Man, my time, my internal clock is just not great. All right, and we want to try, try to keep these relatively uniform again, you know, for the evenness of cooking. So if you have, like this piece right here, it's pretty skinny, but it's nice and wide. See, skinny, wide, skinny, wide. So I'm putting it through skinny way, so it's going to be the same width as everybody else here. Ooh, we got a little hanger there. That's kind of gross. Um, Atlas. Atlas. Yeah. Beef is very bad for dogs. All right, and see, I've got a really thin, really long piece here. See that? So I'm going to go ahead and fold this guy in half. That way we're going to get a much more even piece of beef. And you're at 121 on one and 100 on the other. That seems awfully fast. So we're going to... I do remember it going very quickly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, it's you know it's probably time to give them a good flip. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause from this for a second, guys. I'm just gonna give these uh, tenderloins a nice flip. Okay, wanna come over here? Woo! Oh, look at that! See the way that stuffing is like it's staying together. It's like solidifying. Oh, they're not sticking at all. Ooh, look at that crust. Ooh. You know, these are very thin. That's probably why. Oh, mama. Look at that. Can you see that? Can you see that okay? Let me turn this one so you can see it a little better. Ow. We're getting some great, great grill marks on there. Love it. All right. Now, back to beef. We're back to beefing. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish. This week, I've got beef. I've got beef to settle. We've got a beef to settle. <laughs> got some scores to settle. Name it. Nick, Mas Nick Massimilian. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, there's an inside joke for me and Sawyer only. He went to Harley. He went to Harley, our high school, which next week's episode is going to be coming from. All right, we got... Oh, jeez, this, this hanger is really bothering me. There we go. We got a nice beef skewer here. 
uh, where everything is relatively evenly sized, so we can we're going to be able to flip it and let it cook, and everything's going to be good in the world. And again, we're not letting anything go to waste here. We're going to eat all this, uh, just just trying to trying to uh, try to get as much done on the live stream as possible in the short amount of time we have together on this earth. Thanks again to Ace Hardware for providing these lovely grills on which we are cooking today. Ah, we got the Traeger over here, which people love. I love the Traeger. It's so cool. You just load in wood pellets, and it just does the rest. You just set a temperature, and whoop bam You're smoking, you're grilling. It's great. We're going to smoke some chicken wings on there later. See, here's another example. I got a really thin, gnarly kind of piece. As a matter of fact, that's a piece of sinew on there. We're going to... I'm gonna lose that. There it goes. And I'm just gonna find the nice thickest way to throw it on there so it's the same size as everybody else. It cooks evenly, because that's what we all deserve. We all deserve to cook evenly. It's about time somebody said something about it. Doggone it if it's gonna be me. I can only hope that when we're eating. Whew. Boy, oh boy. All right, we got one here that we're going to fold in half. See this? It's too long, so I'm going to fold it in half. Boom. Ooh, we got a nice meat skewer going here. I love a good meat skewer. More than some members of my extended family. Oh, this takes a great deal of finger strength, I'll tell you. There we go. Look at that. We got our kebabs all laid out. I'm going to go for a hand wash now because uh, of meat. Excuse me, guys, one second while I wash my hands. Us. Did they see the dog? Oh, they see that dog. Atlas is a good boy. Little known fact, Atlas is a good, very good boy. Thank you. All right. A little bit more of my apple juice. Thank you. Okay. So, let's, uh, how are we doing temp-wise? At 137 on one, 123 on the other. That's cool. I bet the one in front is the one that's the red consistently is, lower. The one oh, with red? The red pen is 138. Oh, all right, never mind. The, one, the yellow one. pen is 124. Wow, okay. They've caught up to each other. That's interesting. Uh, can we get, can you ask them for another platter like this? Yeah. Thank you. Or better yet, wait, is this clean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, never mind, never mind. All good. All right, I just need a place to uh, slice up the. Um, Pork when it's done, so I'm just gonna stow that right there. You hopefully, you can't see it. I you can kind of see it, but that's okay. Um, and you know, actually, we can start cooking these because um, because uh, we got this side on blast. Then we have this these uh, here. Sorry, can you pan over? So we got this side over here on blast. This is the hot side, and then we got cooler side over here. We got where we got the pork cooking, and. Um, we need to hit the, the beef really high heat. So we're gonna put that on the right side and then I'll try to fit those vegetable skewers where they can where they can land. So let's open this up. Get these cords out, out the way. I don't know if I can do that actually. Oh, I just pulled it out. I just pulled the, the dang thing out. Back in you go. Come on. Back in. Is that one going crazy? It's like 800 degrees now? No, actually, it stayed pretty consistent. Oh. That's, that's Weber quality. It's reached oh. 145. Okay, we need 20 more degrees on that then. Okay. Got a nice hot side of the grill here, and that's where I'm going to put the, uh, the beef skewers. Let's throw these down right here. Ooh, listen to that. Careful of the cables here. And then uh, these guys, they need a little bit lower, a little bit more consistent heat. So I'm just going to put them, oh, 
there. That's fine. And move them as necessary, you know? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Move them as necessary. These might start cook, cook, cooking faster over here. So you might want to pull these ones and move them over. So you zoom in. Why, why, why zoom in a little bit on here? Oh, nice smooth zoom, Brad. Thank you. Um, so we got, you know, some vegetable skewers here and some over here. And these might cook faster, so you might want to swap them halfway through. Just, just keep an eye on things, that's all. Just be a good, just be a good grill dad. What's that? What does that signify, that beep? Oh, it just says the other one is getting close to 145. The Ooh, yellow. Getting close to 145, folks. All right. Uh, so we're back to uh, we're back to chatting here. I have my uh, my apple juice, and uh, <laughs> um, and I'm um, just hanging with my boys on a beautiful, beautiful summer Nashville early evening. And uh, I gotta say, you guys have a nice state here. I've been here twice in in as many weeks, and uh, it is a lovely place to be sure. this off a little bit. We're going to have pork tenderloins to enjoy in just a little bit of time. I'm going to give them one more flip since we're getting close to target temperature. I want to make sure that we're well seared on all sides. Just one more side to hit. Whoop. Little less. There we go. Just like up. Just like up. Just like up. There we go. The red has apparently reached 161. Oh, okay. We're getting real close then. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you for keeping an eye on that. So yeah, we got this Weber over here with the built-in uh, temperature probes, and this guy has a built-in temperature probe too. So we're going to put that to... Actually, we're not going to put that to use on... Oh, no, we will put that to use on the chicken. We can check the internal temperature of the chicken. Um, so we're going to be smoking and then uh, smoking the chicken nice and low for about 30 minutes, and then we're going to crank the heat up on that guy and char give, him a, give him a nice char. Um, mm. Very good apple juice. And, uh, yeah, so what's going on with you guys? Tell me what's up. Works cannot be stopped. I, I feel you, man. Babish Doggo. This is Atlas. Atlas! Hi, 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 come, 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 come here where people can see you. Atlas, look. Look at the people. Oh, no, you just think there's food. You're silly. You're silly, dude. You're silly, dude. Dog cam. Oh, we, got a, we got a competing, we got a rival across the street. I don't know if you guys can hear that. We got a, we got a Barker. We got a Bob Barker over there. Somebody call Bob Barker because the dog's making a wreck. That's like, um, how are we doing, son? 164 on the red, 156 on the yellow. All right. I'm just gonna, they're on the filling side, so I'm going to flip them over carefully to make sure we don't lose too much filling. Oh. Probe popped out. Where, where was yellow at? 157. Okay. Jeez. We, we don't have upload, do we? Uh, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got it. See, all the spinach has shrunk down. Come on. Get in there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. We got some beautiful port tenderloins going on. Whew. This is beeping now. Oh, that's beeping. Yeah. Probably just sure. extra warm. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna make sure that we're that we didn't miss anything here, guys. We gotta, you know, it's okay to check check the recipe. You know, don't be afraid to check the recipe. All right, so cool. Yeah. Um, can somebody set a timer for like seven minutes for me? I'm gonna check the beef kebabs and see if they're ready to for a flip. They're getting some color, but they're not quite there yet. I want to push them further back on the grill, but we got these cords in the way, so I'll do that once uh, once we take the tenderloins off the grill. Thank you. <sighs> and then we got a uh, nice little instant read thermometer here. You know, I, I, I like a thermopen. Keep an eye out for those. Um, sometimes you got to just get like a real quick temp, so we're going to do that with the chicken probably. But we do have these built-in temperature probes, which are great for... You know, when you're trying to keep an eye on something that's going for a little while, you know, like a roast, or uh, you know, we got these these uh, uh, pork tenderloins. They're looking beautiful. They're gonna, they're gonna taste really good. I'm very excited about this. I'm, I just had a huge meal, and I'm still very excited. About this. How are we doing? 166 on the uh, red. All right. Well, 
temperature on the yellow one dropped when it fell out, ironically. That's strange. But Where's it at now? It was at 157 when, you, when it blew out. Interesting. Woo. All right, so I'm gonna, you wanna have that over here? I'm just gonna take, which one Which one was done? Red. Is, Red's done? Yeah, red. I mean, it's looking done. Oh yeah, oh look at that. Ah, damn it, I pulled out the probe again. I pulled out the probe again. And now this one's stuck in, the, uh, if only I had those ace tongs. Okay, here we go. They love the zoom in, Brad. Love the zoom in, let's do as much zooming in as possible. Get a zoom in of that probe insertion. All right, tell me, tell me what's this, what it's saying now. So it dropped for a second there when it came out. That's so weird. It's like Very so weird. hot in here. All right, now I'm gonna scoot so these it's, guys it's down. Going back up to one fifty. Um, do you have any other tongs like like rubber tongs or? Let me check. Just because these guys aren't very good for flipping the, the babs. Look at that though, guys. Can you get a close up of that? We'll turn it a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh my god. Look at that. Come on. Let's pull out our probe. Get a close up of the probe pull out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, that's one probe. Whatever. This guy's got to be done soon. Pull you more into the direct heat. Oh, I love this recipe so much. Oh, these are perfect. Thank you. Much better. Uh, for, uh, this is the kind of spatch I want for uh, for for kebab flipping. So, how, how are we doing, temp? Um, it's at 150 right now. Gee, geez, Louise! All right, so I'm gonna try to give these a flip. What I need to do is just grab and then whoop. Oh yeah, get some color there, it's looking nice. I want to be further back on the grill though, so. <laughs> Make sure you get everybody flipped. That's important. I'm gonna get you a little further back on the grill. There we go. How are these guys look? Getting a little bit of color, but it needs more time. And I'm gonna get this guy over some more intense heats. What are you doing? Hi, Liz. Why are you looking at my shoe? Shoes are poisonous for dogs. I'm gonna keep making that joke until it dies. All right, so that's a, look at that, huh? Ooh, look at this. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> so back to me with my apple juice. Uh, hi, sweetie. Hey, that's, oh, that's not for you. That's not for you. Eat his poisons for dogs, that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. 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 Get and Babish Bob Ross. I want to see him flying right now. Give me, give me some, uh, some, some, some Babish Bob Ross and some Babish Sia forthwith. What's that? Do? 153. 153. Jeez. Gee whiz. It was higher than that when it popped out, so I don't know. I mean, you know, meat is a fickle mistress. Mm. Um, <laughs> and uh, she'll get you. She'll get you every day. <laughs> what's what's going on? Oh, hey, yeah, look at all those Bob Rosses. Look at all those Babish Rosses. Babish Sia's. Whose idea was Babish Sia? That's ridiculous. Yes, I would love to go on Hot Ones and the H3H3 podcast, of course. Uh, Sean Evans is my boy. I'm just waiting to get on Hot Ones. And uh, I've never met Ethan and, and, and Hilla. Hila. But uh, they seem like like chillers, and I'd love to hang out and go on their podcast. Look at all of them. Wait, this is like a different Bob Ross. Who's that? Whew. Thank you guys for enjoying the new emotes. I hope you like them. Thank you for displaying them proudly. Your school colors. Is, is that still in the 50s? 55, yeah. Good Lord! All right, time to crank up the heat. Here we go. Heat's going high. I don't care. <sighs> Damn the consequences. 
I'll be. Oh, Liz. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove this from the situation because this is what Atlas is after. A meaty probe. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, this turns out. Okay, guys, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, let's beep him. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the Traeger now because we're gonna, we wanna get some smoke going. We wanna bring it up to temp. Shut up! And <laughs> we wanna bring the Traeger up to temp. Let me get the ladder out of the way. Come on. There we go. Okay. Get out of here. Get out of here, you silly Billy. What is this? What is this? It's a bag. There we go. Okay. That's so silly. Okay. Alright, we're good. There we go. So. Uh, you can't quite see them, but right down here I got I have temperature controls. <laughs> uh, if you watch the grilling with uh, the grilling basics with Babish episode, you can check out how this thing works. But basically, I'm just going to crank this guy on, and I'm going to put him to uh, 180 or 225, rather. What? Yeah. You know what I'm doing? Oh, smoke. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. I just, we just consulted the manual. <laughs> and we're going to set this to smoke first uh, for two minutes before we even think about cooking anything. So um, this is going to produce some smoke. It's going to look really cool on camera. Brad, I want to get, I want to get mad close-ups of this, this chimney just like spitting out fat clouds. Okay. This thing's going to be chucking fat, fat clouds left and right. Then get back. I'd be remiss not to mention how many people. Good point. Let's do it. Let's, let's execute a hand wash, folks. Here we go. To your stations. Andrew, your uh, seven minute timer also. Oh, thank you. Only moments ago. Thank you very much. Gently. 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 <laughs> ah. Okay. All right. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, let's get the chicken out here. Thank you for uh, bringing that up, folks. Get a nice close-up of me drying the hands. Good, good stuff. Paper towels, all the way. All right. So this guy is uh, waking up, I'm starting to see some heat coming out of it. Or maybe that's just reflecting so reflection. Smoke, what's what's the temp now? Where, where we, we are at one sixty. It's got to be done by now. This is ridiculous. It's been on there for so long. Let me give it one more little uh, turn. I see an unburnished side. Ooh. Oh, it's got some bright color to it, though. I'm glad we left it on there. No, we did. It's pretty. Oh, let me check on the uh, kebabs here. Oh, we got some nice color on the kebabs. Let me check the temperature. That's what we got to check next. Check. So we're going to find a nice thick piece of beef here and just try to find the center. All right, so we are approaching looks like 125. Oh, per wow, I checked just in time. This guy is a perfect medium rare. We're taking him off. Okay. Oh, yeah, they have some nice color. That's great. And uh, for those of us who want our meat done a little bit more, I'm just going to let the other kebab go. Yeah, see, look at the color on that. Check it out. Rack focus. Rack focus. Oh, yeah. Look at the colors. And the, yeah. So we just hit about 125 degrees there, so that should be a nice medium rare. If we have any dinner guests that want to eat more medium, you know, not quite so pink, we're just going to let this guy go a little bit longer because I have sympathy for those who don't understand how food works. All right. Ooh, nice color on the veg. Can you get a close-up of this? Uh, is, it, is it a weird angle? Let's see if I can do a nice flip, execute a nice flip. Oh, look at that color. Are you seeing that color? That's some color on those veg. Heck yes. Okay. Are we still not there yet? That's fine. I'm taking it off. <laughs> It's coming off. Oh, it's got such beautiful color. Look at that. Goodness gracious. Look at this masterpiece. Come on, stand up. Stand up straight for the audience. All right. Good. All right, fine. Just do your thing. Okay. And let's yank that probe. It's all hot, so. Whoa. It's all hot, so I'm being very careful not to touch it where it was in the grill. And then we're gonna let these guys go a little bit longer. And I'm gonna turn down, whoa, turn down the heat a little bit on the middle burner because I don't want to burn the vegetables. I just want to cook them through now at this point. Oh man, we have some beautiful pork here, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
this out of the way. Oh yeah, get a close-up of me slicing these freaking things open. Alright, here we go. Oh, with this beautiful knife no less. Oh, and get some, we got some smoke coming out over here real quick. Look at that. Look at the smoke. Look at it. Look at it! <laughs> Look at the smoke coming out! This is the Traeger something. What is this? It's a, tra it's a, it's a Traeger uh, uh, wood fire grill. It takes wood pellets. You can use it as a smoker, as a grill. It's really awesome. Thank you very much, Ace, for uh, for helping for giving us this. And now we're gonna carve up the fruits of our labor. We're gonna let this guy rest a little bit because he just came off the heat, even though he's looking gorgeous. We're gonna let him rest a little bit because he would just he would just go everywhere if I were to open him up right now. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna use these scissors and go ahead and snip our little snippies. There we go. Alright. Cross section. Oh, you just wait, folks. You want a cross section? You just freaking wait. Also, speaking of cross sections, buckle up. Because there's a big cross section, so to speak, in the near future. Just uh, just hang on to your to your to your short shorts, okay? Because there's big things in the works. Alright. Oh, I mean, were asking about the color of the pork. Yeah. You know, seeing a little pink color and stuff like that. Hey, hey, hey. Is that okay? Yeah, um, pork, especially uh, um, uh, like if you look at a pork tenderloin, it's made up of a couple different sort of pieces, and some of these are like kind of the quote-unquote dark meat of of, uh, of pork, and um, you know pork chops, pork. Th you know, th uh, things like that. You, mostly, you want to see that uh, mostly pink, but you'll, or, I'm sorry, uh, mostly white, but you'll see some pink happening in the, uh, the, the I, I can't articulate this, but basically, any pink that we're seeing, first of all, is on the outside, and that's no way that's undercooked. That's just color from the grill. Um, so, and we've, we've been measuring this internally, and it's hit uh, uh, one, 165 internal, so this is cooked properly. Um, that's what you want to do to, to be safe. You want to hit 165 internal. Any, anytime you stuff meat, make sure the stuffing reaches the same the same doneness because that's where you can really get food poisoning. That stuff's going to soak up all the juices from the meat, and if that's undercooked, you're going to get sick. So I'm going to take this beautiful knife. Love this knife, and we're going to do us a cross section. Are you ready, folks? I mean, that was a little light on the stuffing, but oh my goodness, it's just so darn good. I'm just gonna cut myself. I'm gonna hack myself off. Oh, whoa. come here, stuffing. You're not going nowhere. Come here. Come here. Mmm. 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 God, that's so good. Wow. Mmm. So. Oh yeah, we have this beautiful, I'm going to get this other guy going here because I think he's going to look even better. I think he lost less stuffing and he's got a better browner exterior. But as long as the temperature is okay, sometimes pork is a little pink. And that doesn't mean it's undercooked. Sometimes this is the way, the color that pork cooks up. So don't be afraid of it as long as you just trust your, your, therm your thermometer, test the thickest parts. If the thickest parts read done, then guess what? It's done. You, you, you know what's always pink? Uh, chicken thighs. You can cook those all day and they will be pink. It's because they are chicken thighs and that's how chicken thighs cook. So I, I, There's nothing I hate more than cook until meat is white and juices run clear. That's like how to overcook your... And also, if you're, if you're cutting into your meat to test it, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you might notice that any kind of meat that we cook, unless it's like sous vide or a uh, reverse sear, needs to be rested. Because you just, like we were talking about before, this is a muscle. And all the, all the, all the, uh, the muscle fibers just tensed up. And now they got to relax, otherwise they're going to squeeze out all their juices. You don't want that. So, this guy's been resting for probably a solid six, seven minutes now, but I want to give him even more 
time because I want them to be really relaxed, you know. So let's check on the babs. All right, so we got uh, our little bit more well done babs over here. We'll take those off. Oh, they got some great color on them. Those are coming off. Whew. Almost lost one there. All right, let's check on the veg. Whew. Oh, those veg are looking good. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna give those a little bit more over low heat. You can stay, you can stay back there. Um, I'm gonna give these a little bit more over low heat because uh, while they're looking nice and charred on the outside, I don't, I don't feel like they're, they're soft enough. So I'm gonna crank down the heat and just let them sit for another five minutes. And in the meantime, I think we're ready to carve our pork for the other one. This guy's probably been sitting for 10 minutes now. So uh, let's buckle up for yet another cross section. Oh. <laughs> um, so I think uh, the best way to um, determine whether or not this is a tasty, tasty vittle is to bring one of the original thick boys up here, have him put him in his mouth. So I'd like to uh, welcome, if he's willing, to the to the stage, one Sawyer Carter Jacobs, my oldest and dearest friend, and uh, a partner with whom I am. Building new things. So, Aaron, welcome. Here, just uh, eat that. <laughs> and give us your mm. give us your two cents. Mmm. Mmm. That's good, right? You really taste the manjago. You can really taste the manjago. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This is Thick Boys approved, folks. Mm, let my fingers talk. Mmm. <laughs> mm. I thought you were talking to me. Mmm. 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 Thank you. No problem. Thanks for tasting. And the rest of the crew is gonna. Thank you. Oh! Over. Finished. Great. Okay, I'll use that after. No waste. No waste. Um, even though paper towels are kind of inherently waste. Um, so, wow. I love this so much. This is like one of the best things that you can do to a pork tenderloin. It's one of the best ways that a trig can be a, a trig can be peated. Was what did that say? A pig can be treated after it's given its life for your enjoyment. You might as well give it a good send off. Look at the smoke we got coming out of here. This is dope. Look at that. Huh? I will you smoke. Alright, so that's been two minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and crank this to 225. And once that hits 225, I'm going to uh, throw some uh, some chicken on there. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna have some chicken fun. That's delicious. It's really good, right? Really good. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna get the I'm gonna extract the other kebabs if you wanna follow me over the grill. So we got our steak kebabs here. And I'll just put those right here for the interim. And then we've got, oh yeah, our veggie kebabs. They wanna know is there a place they can see this recipe? Yes, uh, you can go to basicswithbabish.com. Basic with babish? Yes. Oh. Basicswithbabish.com is where you can find the recipes from today and every other episode. And uh, this recipe, I just want to give credit where credit is due. This recipe comes courtesy of America's Test Kitchen, which is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful learning resource. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just telling you the truth. It's wonderful. Look at that. Oh, slow zoom out. Great job, Brad. Fabulous work. Uh, and now what I'm going to do, if these are cooled off enough, is just... Uh -oh. Just gonna yank these guys off right there. And now, instead of you know your guests grabbing one kebab at a time, they're just gonna come up and they're gonna they're, they're, they're gonna grab what they want. <gasps> I just took those off the grill. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Remember how I just did that? Uh, he's very hot. I need I need uh, I need a fork or something. Oh wait, no, I can grab this. I can be resourceful. I'm an ex-Boy Scout, after all. Well, maybe I can. No, no, I can. There we go. Look at that. I'm going to turn that sideways so you can get a better view of what's going on. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. These are hot. These are hot. 
situation. Right. And uh, what we got here, folks, is some. Um, we have uh, our, our, our medium rare beef here, which uh, let's take a look. I can't really tell because of the marinade, but I can. Mm. Oh, it's so tender. And then a little bit more medium, a little bit more well done uh, for the people who, who like it that way. Because we catered all tastes. And then some gorgeously blackened veggies. So your guests, instead of grabbing a whole kebab of undercooked vegetables and overcooked beef, can just grab what they want and go. It's a beautiful way to make kebabs. Goodness gracious. And this is a beautiful way to make pork. Very happy about that. Wow, we're down like 4,000 years. What happened? Is the dog licking stuff? <laughs> Woo! Defend or remove kebab. What does that mean? Hmm. That was great. All right. We're, uh, we're almost done here, folks, so it's, it's, it's chicken wing time. As soon as this hits 225, we're going to throw some chicken wings on the smoker. And we're going to make some easy barbecue chicken wings. This looks really crooked. What's going on here? Is it the platter messing me up? Oh, okay. That's, wait. No, that's something's, something's iffy. That's okay. All right, it's fine. Um, so I'm going to keep snacking on this because it's freaking delicious. Just keep giving you guys nice cutting horn. Oh, it's perfectly cut. Mmm. Oh, that's a good one. So rich and cheesy. The pine nuts are so good. You can really taste the pine nuts. It's fabulous. I love this dish so much. Is it getting a little dark? Should we open up? stop or something? Or the lens is probably wide open. We can. No, we can open up just a little bit. Yeah, just, just, uh, yeah. We also have an MD filter on. But you're in a great way. I think you look beautiful. Thank you, Brad. I think you do. What does everyone else think? <laughs> Jeez. Just open the floodgates. I'm going to try one of these vegetables now, too. Mm. Oh, my God, you guys. I love roasted Feed red peppers so much. Feed Brad. What are you showing yeah. You had this last time. You I did, I did. I think somebody else. What if Jordan or Brad doesn't want to be on camera. No, I'm Brad's a little bad. I'll, I'll do it, but I need it. Amelia, get on over here. Alright. Amelia doesn't want to be on camera. Oh, so good. I want to get your reaction on my microphone, so I'm coming over. There we go. Amazing. Yeah. Very good. Right. Some good stuff, folks. Oh, I can turn off this grill, can't I? Peace. Good. All right, grill is off. I'm going to kill the gas, too, as a safety measure. That's what you do. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're helping. Okay. 225. Let's get some wings on the grill, shall we? Can you hand me that bowl? Are still smoking? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it alternates between smoking and just heating. So, you can give me a pan over here. Now, uh, so if there's still smoke coming out, it'll have more smoke come out when it's like you know, heating up. And then when it's just at temperature, it'll just chill out in the smoke. Sometimes you don't want too much smoke, it'll, it'll make it better. So, what we have here are uh, some chicken wings, and we're just gonna sort of uh, get ready for me to throw these on the fire. I'm gonna throw them on, so I don't want to get a little wider, because it's gonna be funny. Ah. Oh, <laughs> oh no! That was. Waste! Waste! Oh no. Oh no, disaster. I undershot it. We only lost, uh, we only lost two wings. Lost two. My bad, folks. I'm just trying to be funny and look what happens. I gotta wash my hands, watch it. And we're gonna close this guy up. And we're gonna smoke this guy for 30 minutes at 225 degrees. Jordan? Jordan, Jordan, we need a. 
So we're doing we're, we're just doing a quick hand wash, folks. Sorry about the delay. Okay. Here we go. Atlas, are you hosting the show? Are you hosting the show, sweetie? Come on. All right. Oh, see that hand sneaking in there? Somebody's oh, taking some steak. That's way better than last time. Oh, yeah. Rosemary's way more balanced. Isaac Bravo asks, uh, do you plan on doing a basics episode on crepes? Isaac Bravo, um, a basics episode on crepes. I'm sure I will eventually. I feel like it's a little low on the totem pole because it's such a specialty food. I did do crepes once. Um, they were part of um, the uh, 15 flavor taco from Taco Town. So I made one giant crepe. This is a perfectly good crepe batter recipe in that episode. Check it out. Um, I'm going to start slicing these up so my, my compatriots can, can eat them. We got a nice group of people here that deserve a nice bite. We got people who let me use their house in their backyard. We got camera operators and Amelia, who just does amazing things, and we got Thick Boy, Sawyer Jacobs, and they deserve to eat just as much as, well, just as much as anyone. I must say, Andrew, it's very fantastic. Yeah, it's very good. Glad you like it. Yeah, it's that was solid, solid skewered meat. Yeah, I'm really digging the, the kebabs this time around. Last time they were a little bit too rosemary, as I have complained several times now. That's great. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can hear it, but somebody's using an angle grinder. There we go. Jordan lives next to us. Oh. Well, that works out. All right, so I'm just making these available to our uh, gracious hosts. Is there some somewhere here? Put put these where. So again, we're letting the um, chicken smoke for 30 minutes, uh, which we should set a timer for. It's probably in five minutes. Can somebody set a timer for 25 minutes? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to scoop these over here so I can eat them. This is their right. Damn it. What they deserve. There we go. Big thanks to everybody here that's making uh, Basics with Babish possible, making the stream possible. Thanks to Ace Hardware, who made this grill impossible. Because I, I wouldn't, wouldn't want to shell out for this, this grill, I don't, I don't have the, the scratch. But it is an awesome grill. I'm not allowed to have a grill in my, in my apartment. Wow. Out of New York City. Hmm. Everything. Finally. <laughs> and I was worried these were going to all spill out. Some of it did, but it retained a lot of filling. So I'm really happy with that. Fringe Boy asks, Ooh. Uh, have you ever tried haggis? And hello from Scotland. Hey, we're in Scotland. We've been to Edinburgh before. Um, I, have, I have tried haggis, and uh, I didn't dislike it. You know, I think that's one of those foods that's conceptually gross. It's not like texturally or visibly that bad. It's more content. It's, it's more uh, uh, just what it, knowing what it is. But I, I mean, it tastes good. I'm, I'm a fan of of, of of fall. I like weird, you know, meats and and, and um, organ stuff. What is haggis? Haggis, I believe, is um, is it lamb's stomach or goat's stomach? Yeah, that was. Lamb intestine. Oh let's ask our let's ask our boy. Yeah, I think it's lamb intestine. It's like it's like a it's processed together into almost I don't want to say a sausage. Sheep. Okay, that makes more sense. Sheep stomach. Sheep stomach, and it's stuffed with all kinds of stuff. It's it's, it's great. It tastes really good. Moon Star asks, Have you ever done a strudel episode? I can't remember. I have done a strudel episode uh, from uh, from. Um, Glorious Bastards, uh, we did strudel 
uh, back in uh, last year, I believe. So go check it out. Binging with Babis, Strudel. Mm. Very tender. Just like perfect page inside. They're so forced. <laughs> <You're stupid. laughs> We're all just like grabbing. Why did that ever kill you don't now ideally you don't want to open this, but I'm just gonna like peek at them. Just because I'm curious. So I want you to peek with me. And then zoom in, let's take a little peek. Just a little bit. Not much change yet. We need we need to let those go. We really need to let those go. Um, probably for probably another 20 minutes now, I think. Because we really want to sort of get them they're, they're gonna be lightly burnished brown. Lightly brown. Uh, and that's going to be a good indication that they picked up some smoke. And we're just going to crank this guy on high, and then I'm going to baste it with barbecue sauce until it gets a nice crust on the outside. And, uh, yeah, no. We're, we're eating good over here, I think. I love roasted peppers. I love this black stuff so much. This burnt stuff. Oh. So good. Mm. Ah, so what's going on with you guys? Let's see what's uh, what are we talking about, folks. Somebody asked if you've ever tried Filipino. I I've eaten Filipino food, but I've never done Filipino food on the show. I'm looking forward to doing it. Um, I have done a risotto episode. I just saw a risotto. Have I done any risotto recipes? Wait, did we do that episode? Oh, it's. Upcoming on, on Basics, we are doing a rice episode, which includes risotto and arancini, which is leftover risotto formed into balls around a hunk of cheese, breaded and deep fried. It's wonderful. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to hop on down here so we can meet face to face. Yeah, maybe, maybe pan up a little bit so it's not so difficult for me. Hello. Welcome to facing the... Um, it's another word for face that starts with B. Um, <laughs> uh, welcome to um, uh, whatever, whatever this is. Well, and uh, I'm, I'm here. To, I'm here to facing the Babish. And, uh, bald and bearding. Balding, bearding with Babish, balding with Babish. Facing the Babish. Face off. Great movie. Face off. Highly underrated, terrible movie. Beholding Babish. Um, beholding Babish. I love it. That's the winner. The holy Babish is the winner. Are my teeth full of stuff? I feel like my teeth are full of stuff. Oh, okay. All right. So, what's going on with you guys? I want to. I want to hear. I want to hear about your lives. If you can see the way I'm, like, my feet are positioned right now, it's the weirdest, most awkward thing. You can't see it from the camera. I've got the strangest, like, brace going on. Any gnocchi episodes coming? Not yet, but that will definitely be coming on on basics gnocchi episodes will be coming up. Um, keep an eye out for it. We will, we'll, we will be addressing that soon because that's that's an important skill, both uh, ricotta gnocchi and traditional uh, potato, flour, egg gnocchi. Let's see. How do I feel about Pirate's Booty? I love Pirate's Booty. Are you kidding me? An HD cam. Hoggers. Uh-oh. I opened the, the floodgates. Ceviche? I'll do ceviche. I love ceviche. I did um, a yellowtail carpaccio once. Why did I do that? It was an appetizer for that, for a basics live stream. That's why. So, what are you guys cooking? Tell me what you're cooking right now. Are you going to record any King of the Hill related food episodes when you have a grill? Uh, I mean, I honestly don't need a grill to do King of the Hill food episodes because I've got uh, Spa Peggy and meatballs to think about. Casserole. And the casserole, or the lutefisk. Lutefisk. Yes. Lutefisk. lutefisk. And the man with the terrible smell. My lutefisk. Can I have the lutefisk? <laughs> That's a bad Bobby Hill impression. You <laughs> love that fish. Oh, you love that lutefisk. Oh, look at that smoke coming out behind me. That's oh, how romantic. Peggy. Apple brown Peggy. And then maybe a fruit pie, for God's sake. Oh, of course. Gotta make a fruit pie for, for sweet Bobby. He likes the cherry fruit pies, correct me if I'm wrong. Right, this is wrong, please. Mm. How to chew with that? Mm. <laughs> do you uh, plan to do the meat tour 
tornado from Parks and Rec? The meat tornado is a challenge because the only thing we know about it is that there was so much meat that it killed a guy. So there, it needs to be a, um, a burrito that has so much meat in it that it could feasibly kill a very unhealthy person or give him a heart attack. So I need to talk to a doctor, consult with a doctor, and like find out exactly what that entails. We got some flies coming now that's getting a little later in the back. Luckily, we're coming coming close to the, to the, to the close here. We just got to finish our wings. People seem to really want to give me the hiccups. I'm, I'm obliged to give it to them. I, I want to give you that King of the Hill episode, folks. I'm on your side. <laughs> Would you do more food from Food Wars? Would I do more food from Food, food Wars? Yes, and expect me to, because uh, I plan on doing more foods from anime. Keep an eye out for Studio Ghibli films, um, food from, from uh, Spirited Away, and, uh, and others. The Death King wants you to do a curry basis. A curry basics. That's interesting because um, curry. That's one of those really interesting foods that it, it's, it's become the sort of national, not national dish, but the national hangover dish of, of, of Britain, despite being decidedly not British. Uh, so I'd love to know the anthropology behind that and why that happened. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, no, it's it, it, it's it's something that I know very little about. I've done some curries before, but I'd love to learn more. That's half of what basis is about, is me learning too. <laughs> me learning right alongside you. So. Tell them about that knife again. Yes. This knife, which is kind of gross, let me give it a little wipe down. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do a quick clean off on the knife. That's a good knife, and I'm very thankful to our host, Jordan, for uh, letting me uh, use both his his and his wife's beautiful home, backyard, and knife. Um, so, and dog. Uh, the anti-gamer, the antic gamer says basics with noodles. Basics with what kind of noodles? Be more specific, babe. I'm gonna do the noodles from Blade Runner soon because uh, an, an avid redditor did a an exhaustive breakdown of what those noodles are that Harrison Ford is munching down on. So I'm gonna be doing those Blade Runner noodles soon because I'm excited about how accurate I can be. I, I only really like tackling something like that when I can try and be accurate, and he really broke it down. So. Excited. Somebody said peanut butter squid. What do you think that is? Peanut butter what? Squid. Squid? <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. This is the knife I've been cooking with today. It is a Shun, I'm guessing, 8 inch chef's knife? Yeah. yeah. So this is a Shun 8 inch chef's knife. It's got a nice Damascus sort of finish on it. You can see the, the I don't know what that's called. So the, the mixing of the metals, that's what it is, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, it's a mixing of the metals. Yeah. Like, Shun's getting way too much product placement right now, <laughs> so we're gonna stop. But um, it's uh, this is a really gr great knife. I don't. I, I personally use Vostoffs. Uh, I've never used the Shun before, and I really enjoyed my first experience. Now I'm, I'm jealous. I've got knife envy. So always practice good knife discipline, boys and girls. Keep the fingers tucked. Careful. Uh, what else is going on with y'all? Yeah, Laird Steel. Yep. No, that's part, of my, that's part of my cultural vernacular. I use it on a day-to-day -day basis when describing chicken wings. <laughs> Y'all chicken wings need to get cooked. Y'all chicken hands cool. <laughs> that's, that's one of those things that nobody knows what it is until they know what it is. If you know what it is, then you don't care. <laughs> um, Kona. What's Kona? I've seen like 10 people say Kona. What is that? Is it because... It's a raid troll. Oh, great. Gotta love troll folks. We'll mod this one better soon. We'll cut out all those people. Yeah. We have a soft spot. We have, we have a soft spot for trolls yeah. because... It's funny. It is funny. <laughs> you guys are at the core. It can be funny. The, the camera's that. totally crooked when I can see it. I'm looking down the barrel of it. Is the is the level level? The level is level toad. It's so bizarre. Toad's level. Although the, the ground is slightly sloped. So it kind of Maybe I'm slightly sloped. Hmm? Maybe I'm slightly sloped. Yeah. Perhaps you are. What hand products do I use? I um, use uh, keels. Um, 
good products. I like them. Um, BTTV. Got it. What are these things? Are I thought that I thought that I saw it feels bad, man, and then that beard though, and I thought it said feels beard, man, and now I want to trademark that. Feels beard, man. We're on. Feels beard, man. Got my old team back here. They're 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 <laughs> registering trademarks. All right, let's go back to normal. Because how much time we got left on that? Uh, what this? Okay. We have. I gotta at least turn this though. Twelve minutes and eight. It's driving seconds. me bananas. I can't I can't abide this. Other way. Nope. Oh. What's this? Come on. All right. Uh, let me try pulling. Oh, no wrong. This needs to be. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Teamwork. Here we go. And turn. Oh, there. Oh, that, you're going that way. There we go. Oh. Tell me when I'm good. You're good. Okay. Wrong cord. All right. Nice and even. Would you call yourself a perfectionist standard? Well, that's still not even. So, <laughs> yes. Uh, it's good enough for now. We're, we're, we're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. Let that slide. I'm gonna take a little peek at these. Boop. Boop. You know what I think I'm gonna do? How much time do we have left? We have 12 minutes. Okay. Uh, minutes. When we have five minutes left, I'm gonna crank up the heat. Great. That seems like a good idea. I like it. So we're just infusing these guys a little bit of smoke, and then we're just gonna crank up the heat and just make a whole lot of heat in there, and we're gonna have some nice smoky wings. We have some some homemade barbecue sauce. This is really homemade. I made this seriously. <laughs> uh, I didn't make this. Um, ooh, wow, what's that? So we got some barbecue sauce. Basically, after we've let these guys smoke a little bit, get some smoky flavor, start to cook through, crank up the heat, and start basting with this. And that way we can get a nice barbecue sort of glaze uh, built up on the outside, sort of shellac it with uh, with, with barbecue sauce. Let it nice <laughs> Oh, look at it. Show, 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 show the results of this. We, we, we crushed these. Look at this. Huh? A little bit, a little bit of kebab left, but hey, none of that left. That's gone. I mean, now it is. Oh, awful. Mm. Whatever happened to that giant wick you said you made, you got for the built home? Did we use again? I still have it. There was some uh, question of ownership at one point. <laughs> I won't go into why. <laughs> okay, I finished your good stuff. Hmm. So, where should I go out to eat tonight, guys that have been to or love Nashville? Tell me where the hot spots are. I want to know everybody's favorite place to go eat. I'm from Pittsburgh. Or no, I'm sorry, I'm from Menden. I lived in Pittsburgh a little while in my later years, but I'm originally from Menden. McDonald's twice. A lot of McDonald's. Hattie B's. Already, already, already been to Hattie B's. Cooper's Condensation. Don't go to the pharmacy. Don't go. What's wrong with the pharmacy? A Boiger joint. A boiger joint. Shout out to Rolf and Daughters. I'm hearing everybody. Everybody here, the locals here, like Rolf and Daughters. No, 210, what was it? 210 Jack? 210 Jack. Ramen place, huh? Good ramen in Nashville? It's very good. Best ramen in Nashville. Oh. And that is from Japan. Okay, never mind. That's from a man who, who actively lived in Japan and loves Japan, so I trust his word. Above all else. How are we doing on, how are we doing on time? We are. 
All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and just do it. So I, I'm, I'm cranking this guy up to maximum, which is 450 degrees, and we're just gonna really uh, smoke these guys out pretty hard. No, um, I'm kidding. So, I love if chicken I love livers. Liver, I, I, I mean, I love chicken liver. But if we're talking about beef liver, tricky. Like, you, I think really think that's a matter of taste. You need to like the metallic, sort of, you know, gamey kind of not gamey, but metallic organ vibe. Um, a much easier way to get into it is with chicken livers. You can make a chicken liver mousse or pate, delicious. Yeah, pate. Oh, pate is a great way to go. Um, I'd love to do a pate episode. Oh, I did a pate episode. Oh, it was a Patreon exclusive. Sorry, guys. Ah. Maybe we should, um... Is it going to be possible to move the camera a little bit so you can see in there a little bit? Or maybe move the grill? I mean, we could go on the tripod for the first time. I mean, why don't I could just turn the grill. Yeah, you can do that. Do it. I'm so scared. Ah. I'm so scared. Oh, what if it, what if it burns me in all kinds of ways? All right, that's going to be good. We'll be able to see in there. Good. Yeah. All right. We should have done that from the beginning because they angled them in. Box me in here. All right. I'm going to get a Traeger to point him towards a, it's on a pretty hefty angle, but it's fine. Temperature's rising. We're going to get this nice and hot. Have you ever had grilled chicken hearts? Yeah. That's a thing. I've had grilled chicken hearts on a, on a stick. Ooh, yeah. Um, I've also had uh, ch uh, chicken soup where they put the hearts in it. Wow. That's really good. Huh. Yeah. The texture's a little off-putting at first, but it's, it's very it's good eats. Made your pizza crust the other day. It was delicious. I'm glad to hear it, Fluffy Bubby. Flubby, Flubby Bubby. Will you do more frequent live streams in the future? Uh, for for now, we're sticking to every other week. Um, but you know, I've I've been taking steps to try and delegate tasks to other people and, and trying to expand my company so um, uh, I, I hope to be able to do things like that more frequently but I do want you to know that I'm working on bigger projects and working on uh, some, some larger endeavors that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. Bear meat. Please pay child support. I would if I had a child to support. You need to do early streams like this more good for Europe. Do you think that this performed so good because it was earlier? That's a good question. Um, any plans for basics episode of barbecue classics like ribs, brisket? Absolutely. Always. I love ribs, I love brisket, and I'd love to... Um, we can't live stream that though, because those take like, you know, five, six hours. Brisket can take like eight hours, twelve hours. Atlas, are you a dog today? Are you a puppy? Are you a puppy today? Uh, no. Well, no. this, yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah. Sorry, that Thank you. All right, we're up to 284. See, I don't know how it does this. It heats up without adding smoke. It's not smoking like crazy right now. It must just have a heating element. Hearing fat from the chicken drop, that's a good sign. How do you like karaoke? I love karaoke. Are you kidding me? I'm a karaoke uh, kook. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, my favorite tracks to sing are Lightning Crashes by Live. Lightning crashes, the moon mother crashes. Um, <laughs> uh, Return of the Mac. Um, <clears throat> Well, I tried to tell you a song, but I guess you didn't know. It's a sad story told. Baby, now I got the flow. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, what else? What else? Um, uh, there's there's a Schoolboy Q song that I love to sing, but we're, we're being sponsored right now, and I should not sing that. That's for another time. <laughs> um, let's see. What are your guys' favorite karaoke songs? Twenty-four hour drunk brisket stream. That sounds like fun. You can do that, you know. Up on the roof. 
I got a nice uh, place that we can potentially smoke meat in my new apartment. Hopefully, we'll see. All right, we're up to 3, 311, which is a not very good band. You mean Summer Girls wasn't one of your favorite? No, it wasn't. Oh, no, that was, that wasn't good. It was Guster? That was, uh, I'm all wrong. I'm all wrong. You're all mixed up, Brent. How about Jimmy Eat World, guys? <laughs> Investigate through life. Uh, that's, uh, oh wait, that's uh, that's from uh, Eric Andre, isn't it? Investigate three life. What do we got going on? You guys want me to do a pizza ball from uh, Eric Andre show? Time to deliver a pizza ball. You getting blasted on grain alcohol? No, I'm not. Yes, got six wisdom teeth pulled yesterday. That sounds like something you made up. How do you have six wisdom teeth? Do I make vegan courses? Unintentionally, I do. I have nothing against vegans, and I have, I have nothing against vegan cuisine. Uh, I've just not sought it out in the show. But a lot of the episodes are vegan, like pasta aile olio. This guy right here, that's a vegan dish. Cornballer, yep. Hey guys, keep an eye out. Um, you know, you might have seen in my subreddit uh, that the winner of the next episode challenge, which will be premiering on May 22nd, the first episode of the new kitchen, uh, will be uh, the Bubble Bass's order from SpongeBob, which is a double triple patty deluxe. I can't remember the whole order. Double double triple double triple patty deluxe um, on a raft. Ah, I can't remember. <laughs> um, uh, light acts of grease with a shimmy and a squeeze and a burn it and, and let it swim so it translates to like a 24 patty burger on toast so really it's a patty melt it's not really a burger uh, uh, a 24 patty patty melt uh, on, on toast with, with butter and with extra sauce and pickles obviously don't forget the pickles yeah I am doing that monstrosity oh this guy did it I'll take a double, triple Boston Deluxe on a raft, 4x4, four four, animal style, extra singles with a shimmy and a squeeze, light axle grease, make it cry, burn it, and let it swim. What is your favorite food, if not your favorite, what is one of your favorites? I love pasta al olio, man, that's the reason I got it on my arm, I love it, I love how many people have tried it and tagged me on Instagram, like, you know, saying it's the first thing they've ever tried to cook, and it was easy, and they realized, oh my god, I can cook, it's a very special dish to me. Timer's done? Timer. Alright, well, it's still only a 352. Right, I want to get this guy up to 450 and then I'm going to start basting. Basting. Um, let's see. Meet one, meet two, meet two, meet two. I don't know what that is. Uh, hey, thanks, thanks, Netherlands. Love from uh, New York City and Nashville, respectively. Scotch or bourbon? I gotta say, scotch. Uh, it depends. Really depends. It depends on what I'm in the mood for. That hand motion. I'm, I'm emphatic. I'm, I'm mostly Italian, so I'm a very emphatic person. Got you a pepe from Burnt. Nobody wants that, movie, unfortunately. Did you ever skateboard as a kid? No, I did not, but I did have a Razor scooter. And I constantly tried to do flips, and then I just hit myself in the ankles. And that was that. <laughs> Tastes like Splenda, gets drunk like Scotch. <laughs> Michael Scott. Wayne Gretzky. I'm in culinary school and I've had many conflicting thoughts on the perfect risotto. Do you like tooth to the grain or no? Yes, I like I like risotto to be toothsome. I do. I like it to be al dente, if you will. Can you show your Aglio Olio, Aglio Olio test tattoo for more than a split second? There you go. Look at that lovely sunshine hitting it. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Uh oh, looks like we're going to do a zoom in. I can't tell, are we? Oh. oh, we're doing a rack focus. Yeah. Oh. oh, there we go. Behold it in all of its nudely glory. You might notice that this is not the one that, uh, this doesn't look like the one from the movie, unfortunately. This is the one that I have. Um, the one from the movie doesn't have 
rivet set, but it was done in honor of the movie, so. But it was also done in honor of the, 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 the one that I bought, because that was like a moment where I was like, I'm gonna do anything for this show. And I'm gonna go at a nine o'clock on a weeknight and try to find the perfect carving fork, just so I can do pasta aglio olio. Greetings from Sweden. Hey Sweden, can I make flau sausage? What is that? Flau sausage? You ought to do some stuff from Bizarre Foods. No, thank you. I'll chill with Andrew Zimmer, and he's cool, but I'm, I'm, no thank you on the, on the Bizarre Foods. Uh, if you couldn't make your own, was the best sausage slash hot dog you can get from the supermarket? That would be Zweigel's White Hots all day from, from Wegmans. Or Ace Hardware if they sell hot dogs, I'm not sure. Currently living in Brooklyn. What's your favorite food around here? Where in Brooklyn? Brooklyn's huge. Um, in Bushwick, I love Momo Sushi Shack. I love Roberta's. Uh, Jake, you've lived in, in Williamsburg more, or in uh, Brooklyn more recently than me. There's good latkes to be had and, uh, not latkes, um, pierogies to be had in, in Greenpoint. Tamarind. Tamarind? Amarin. Amarin, okay. Then there's uh, Green, Green. Greenpoint Fish and Lobster Company. Oh, yeah. That place is great. Uh, let's see. Are you still doing weekday vegetarian? I'm trying, but like, you know, the show is so chaotic. I need to shoot it at such strange times that like, it's hard to it's hard to keep it up. I'm trying to be vegetarian as much as I can. Uh, hey from Canada, you got some fans up here. Love your show. Thanks, thanks Canada. Appreciate it. Williamsburg, so much great food around there. Just walk around, you'll find something. Greetings from Texas. What is your favorite foods from from down south? It's barbecue, man. Old barbecue, cornbread, chicken fried steak from uh, that place in uh, Plano. What's it called? It's a place that does really good chicken fried steak with like two veggie sides in, in uh, Plano, Texas. I can't remember what it's called. Let's see, Chinese food basics. Once I learn how to make Chinese food. Yes, I, there will be Chinese food basics. I need to learn how to make Chinese food first. Come to Brazil. I'd love to go to Brazil. I love Brazil. I'll, I'd love to go to Dubai. Wow, this thing's getting warm. Let's see what's happening in here. Ready? Let's take a look. It's going down. Oh yeah. Woo. All right. I'm gonna start giving these guys a little flip. Oh. Oh. Stickage. That's okay. A little bit of stickage. Oh yeah. How much does someone have to pay to change the gear? Um, seventy-five thousand dollars. Actually, I was thinking about shaving it for charity. If you guys can think of a good reason enough for me to shave it for charity, I'll do it. Woo, yeah, this thing gets hot. Wow. This puts out the PC news. Woo, Traeger. Traeger, cool it. Gotta put it straight from the skin. Sorry, I'm just trying to get leverage. There we go. All right. There we go. Oh, these are starting to get some nice color on them. But just you wait. I'm gonna start brushing these guys down with some sauce, as my boy Harley Morenstein would say. Barbecue sauce. while drinking a whole bottle of Jack Daniels. No, I'm not gonna do it. Whew. Ow. Whew. All right, this is hot. Sorry for the lapse in conversation, folks, but this is a hot thing that is happening with my hands. Atlas! Atlas, get, 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 get on out of here. Whew, damn. How is this thing heating up so much? I don't understand. It's that striker magic. God almighty. All right, I'm just making sure these have a really good sl sl slathering of barbecue sauce on them. Because I want them to build up the barbecue sauce sort of skin, you know? I'm going to flip them. 
and they're going to brown like beautiful. They're going to get some nice black spots on them. They're gorgeous. Make sure there's a good slather. Make sure you slather them. Oh yeah. I bet you guys are freaking out that I didn't do the one on the top. Well, I will. Don't worry. Good Lord. There you go, little fella. There you go. Alright, let's let that sauce uh, firm up a little bit. There we go. That thing got hot. Stunningly hot. Alright. Mm. Oh, yeah, please. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amelia. I'm sorry, I just hit my apron. Was that loud? Did my mic fall down? Yeah, it's right here. Sorry guys, we got another mic fall. One moment. Alright, I hear there's a good question. As soon as the mic comes back up, we'll answer it, okay? Just the shotgun's on now. Oh, hey! Yes, yes, how, do, how they make fried chicken in like Civil War times. Yeah, I've seen that. It's cool. It's really cool. I'd love to do a crossover with them. Townsend's, or if anybody who knows Townsend's, uh, hit me up, man. I'm here. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Agua. How long have we been going now, guys? Only, uh... Two hours, 47 minutes. That's, that's got to be the longest one yet, right? That's pretty good. We lost some viewership, but hey, we had we had we, we spiked around what fifteen thousand. Yeah. It's great. You know, uh, uh, Drake is going to show up in about five minutes, so um, Fortnite. yeah, we're going to play Fortnite. Drake's coming over. We're going to play Fortnite. Tell your friends. <laughs> Hashtag Drake playing Fortnite with Babish. Yeah, the embryo nolly. Yeah, he has um, uh, partially fertilized quail eggs. But yeah, he, he he like deep fries and then injects with something. And what's her name? Thirteen eats one. She's like, that's the best thing I've ever had. Yeah, it would be well. And um, uh, so I'd love to do that one day. But damned if I can find those things. Those are like really rare delicacies. Like I don't know how House found him. He's got his ways, I guess. Woo! Here, I'll do that again. Do a close up. Get on in there. Here we go. Woo! Got some chicken going. I'm waiting for that to form more of like a crust on the outside before I flip it. Because you always lose some sauce and flippage, and I don't want to lose too much. But we're going to keep flipping and basting, flipping and basting until these guys are done. It's pretty hard to overcook chicken wings. You can cook them up to like 200, they'll still be good. Anyway. They want you to remember to do your Kratos. All right, well, that means that, um, wh 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 when is Comic-Con? Is it in October? The San Diego one? I don't know. Um, well, <laughs> it just means that this summer I need to get super jacked, and uh, then I can be Kratos. Boy, you are not ready, boy. Boy. <laughs> Jesse. Jesse. You're Mr. White. Jesse! <laughs> this is my, my conversation. It was actually very good. I'm, I'm like really impressed with that. Thank you. Can you continue that conversation? Oh, that's all, oh, that's yeah. all it is. Jesse! You're Mr. White. Let's cook! Jesse! <laughs> um, what, what was the impression that I recently discovered I could do? 
Um, Weren't we in the apartment? I, I realized I could do an impression of someone halfway decently. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, boy. I'm so excited to, to premiere this. <clears throat> okay, so I've been, I, I've, I've been working on an impression of um, a video game character when they're hurt. <clears throat> I know exactly who that is. And I, I, does the audience. I, no, it's, it is a very specific uh, <laughs> link. Yep, you, yeah, na you yeah. nailed it. Yep. Well, uh, Ray, 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 two, two. God, why do you guys have pronounceable names? A. Scat. That must have read line. Sorry. Um, uh, and then I've been working on my Thor. Which was, um. <clears throat> Banna, Loki, Kaboom! <laughs> Banna. <laughs> so it's just like half kind of cry. Banna, Loki, come home. Alright, I think I'm re I think we're ready for a flip here. We do a, uh. All right, here we go. We're doing a flip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! We're cooking now. Woo! Oh, baby. Oh, we're getting some great color going here. Oh, it's looking bad to us. Oh, that's... Alright, now I'm going to brush them down. I'll start over here. Oh, let's brush them down. Brush them right down. Make sure they're good and slathered. I want a solid slather. Thanks again, Ace Hardware, for this beautiful grill. Love the Traeger. This thing, like, this thing is really doing a job of putting a golden brown crust on these wings. Like, I was surprised when they told me, "Hey, you can just crank it up and finish the wings on the on the grill." I was like, "Nah." But shut my mouth because this works like a charm. Just making sure these guys are all really evenly coated, liberally coated. I'm probably going to keep slathering and flipping until I run out of sauce. Honestly, that's probably what I'm going to do. Ask them if they, uh, uh, I'm going to ask them, do, 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 do you guys want to hear, any, any newcomers out there want to hear my Bane impression? <laughs> oh, give it a second. <laughs> oh, God, it's hot. Mostly yeses. I wanted unanimous yeses, so I guess that's not going to work out this time. That's a shame. All right, those are looking pretty, pretty coated. That's nice. Making sure these are really got a good layer on them. I really want this to have like a really sticky barbecue exterior, you know what I mean? Ooh, those are looking good. Thank you for your excellent camera work, Brad. Really appreciate it. Is it? Oh, yeah. Thank you for closing that down. Oh, man. Took an ND filter off. Because hey. Got chicken right there. Thanks, bud. Thanks for taking that ND, off, ND filter off for me. Mm. Feels beard, man. Oh, I love that people are saying it. Or one person said it. <sighs> Have you considered thick patties for burgers? Yes, of course. Are you kidding me? I've done, I know I've done a lot of smash burgers, but I've also done 
Yeah, some really nice bloody burgers, man. You gotta, you gotta have those like, you know, those hand ground burgers where it's nice pebbly beef. You just sort of coax it into a patty, barely, and then you fry it up or, or hit hit the grill. What's going on? Okay. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, no, I, lo I love a thick burger patty. Maybe maybe we should do a burgers basic soon where we do a, do a really thick patty because we've only we've mostly done smash burgers. That's nice and clean. That's clean. Ah, that's cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. What else we got going on here? Thick. How'd you get them to stick? How'd I get what what to stick? Wow, whoa. This battery, this mic pack just got really warm on my butt. Is that okay? It's not good. It's probably about to explode. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you guys didn't like my butt. Because it's about to dissolve. In a tragic butt accident today. Andrew's butt was blown off. Andrew Babish Ray went out with a blaze of glory when his ass exploded. His friends were heard saying, what after ass? <laughs> Where am I? I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. We saw a car fire on the shoulder of the freeway. Whoa! Maybe it's because it's near this, but wow, it's like warm. It's not good. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just sort of put it here, just for the moment. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's a good idea. That's a, you know, just gonna keep it, keep it near the. You know. Am I going to cook a? What does that mean? <laughs> Sennheiser. When your ass is cold, Sennheiser warms it up. This is this. What is this? This isn't Sennheiser. I just guessed. Get out of here with that. Yeah, I'd love to hear what other uh, basics in general you guys like to see. What other basics episodes do you want to do? You want to maybe take a crack at? Tell me what. Uh, I, lo I like spicy foods enough. Not when I'm traveling. <laughs> I love the implications that sentence has. <laughs> just like when I'm cold, sweet and clean. <laughs> when I'm near home base, I love spicy foods. <laughs> <laughs> Stir fry, smoothies, curries, Italian sausage, budget foods. But I've heard so many requests for budget foods. We should do like a like a budget meal planning, you know, like a like a Sunday meal meal prep That's day. Tacos, tempura. I'm wearing a Nixon watch right now. Nixon. Um, caramelized peach dessert. That's very specific. <laughs> I don't think you know how basics works. <laughs> Basics with Babish presents caramelized peach dessert. <laughs> John Brookston. <laughs> Pudding. Yeah, that's, that's a basic food. I've done, to be fair, I mean, I've made a bunch of custards, which are essentially homemade puddings. Like, anytime, soups. soups. We, wait, we did, we did soup. We did chicken noodle soup. That's true. We did chicken noodle. The best chicken noodle soup yeah. in the world. Mike stole it. We broke out here. How to boil water? Shut up. Pasta. We already did pasta. Not setting the kitchen on fire. I'm bad at that. That's a neat. That's a. Um, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, just like butchery and like what, how, how to cook different cuts of steak. And I mean, we we already kind of did that, but we only did three cuts. It'd be cool if we went through like every supermarket cut and just like broke it down. Let's uh, let's take a look at the chicken. Let's see how it's done. Ready? Woo! That's some barbecue chicken, boy. I tell you what. Oh, yeah. You see that? You see that? Let's we'll turn it around. Look at that color. Oh man. Nice color on these. That's exactly what I want. Oh yeah. Hey, come here. Come 
back here. Come here. Hey. Come here. Not you, Alice. Chicken. There. Woo! Not you, Alice. Oh, look at that. Color, my goodness. Oh, my gracious words. Whew. This is going to be the last flip. I'm going to let this go and then I'm going to flip it and then these will be done, I think. Check the temp. That was. That's the last of the sauce. Perfect timing. Bless you, whoever just needs. Go. But that was barbecue corn, huh? Good nights, my little ones. Oh, we're getting close to being done, folks. So now's the time to ask me your deepest, darkest, and most personal questions about where you'd like to see Basics with Babish going and about how Ace Hardware can help you today. I don't know, guys. You know, actually, hey, we should crowdsource this. I want to get one right here. All right. So. I think it's a great idea, boss. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a vote, and whatever you guys want me to get, I absolutely will get. You know what? Okay. Somebody start a straw poll. So let's start an open straw poll, where you can. Uh, um, somebody do a straw poll. <laughs> It's still scary. <laughs> this is more of a joke <laughs> that I would have to do. Yeah, um, <laughs> that could be for the beard. That could be for the beard, yeah. To shave off the beard, charity. Uh, yeah. What food is in uh, Game of Thrones? I, 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 I did a Game of Thrones oh, episode. That's right. I did a raised game pie, did Dothraki blood pie, and uh, Sansa's uh, lemon, lemon cakes. Oh, you know you're gonna end up with a cilantro tattoo. Oh my god! <laughs> that oh, I actually like that a yeah. lot. What if guys? What if I got a cilantro tattoo? What do you think of that? Like a like a cool like old timey drawing or something of cilantro, like you know, like like you'd see in like a plants book, you know, that like names it. That's fucking cool. I'm, I'm freaking cool. And and it's and it, it's it's um like. <laughs> uh, this, this one girl I know got a tattoo uh, uh, that was asymmetrical because she was like really kind of, not OCD, but like she was really crazy about things being symmetrical. So she got that to sort of be like, yeah. So this would be the same kind of thing. I should get a salon for a tattoo. That's great. Like right here? On the face, yeah. Like growing up my neck and onto the yeah, face. Sort of like uh, like a badass like poison ivy. Yeah. Of um, if you were truly... <laughs> Cilantro's not okay. Cilantro's bad, which is why it's funny that I'm getting tattooed on my skin. I really like that. I think I'm actually going to get that. Buckle up, guys. Next tattoo, cilantro. <laughs> you heard it here first. Have you thought about doing any red wall? Yeah. Um, uh, hot root soup. and uh, Yeah, there's, there's a lot of fun like possibilities the there. Delicious. Sorry, I'm just, when I see a dog with a stick and, and doing tug of war, I just have to stare. This is cute. Yeah, he's got a big stick. Alex has a big stick. Right, sorry. I shouldn't be cooing at dogs that you can't see. Um, so, all right, somebody start, start a straw poll. Uh, tattoo ideas. Uh, cilantro. Um, uh, it's got to be something food related, because I don't know if you guys have noticed... This is the film arm. This is the old Kodak logo. This is a lens refraction diagram. This is this is the Fraser logo. So film and television. Um, uh, then this is the food arm. I got I got the knife and whisk. I got the the uh, spaghetti and I I got the um, the uh, soup salad and breadsticks back here. So 
and I want to get something on the food arm, so we, we need to come up with a food tattoo. I love cilantro, I think that's great. Let's, something's, something's being whispered back there. Oh, it's something inappropriate, I can't wait to hear it. What about legs? What about what? Leg tattoos. I never show my legs, I never wear shorts. Yeah. And it's not like I'm trying to be showy, but like, you know, I, I, I get these to, 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 so I can look at them. And I, I literally never wear shorts. I never wear shorts. Ooh, the Grody it's, tattoo. That's cool, that's cool yeah. yeah I love but like, it's what, it was 90 degrees out today? <laughs> Jeans, baby. All day. Face of the soup nuts. No. That's kind of dated. <laughs> Pickle Rick, if I get a Pickle Rick tattoo, just, just just kill me where I stand. I love Rick and Morty, but that is really not something that I want to be associated with. The, the internet ruined what was a beautiful, I think, piece of art. That episode was a piece of art, and it's ruined because so many people flipped out about Pickle Rick. Anyway, <laughs> Applebee's logo, cool. It'll be the... Yeah, dated, no, no, no. You said dated says the guy with the Fraser tattoo. Big difference between dated and finely aged. Okay? Let's try Master Pink. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Get a tasteful tramp set. Okay. Ramen tattoo. Oh, there's a straw pole. I see the first straw pole. Somebody click on it. See what, <laughs> see what the deal is. Beard. Beard. <laughs> beard tattoo. I have a beard. Oh. Okay. That's a good idea. I, I also thought of uh, a very, very, very low-key hand uh, finger tattoo that I would like to get. Would it alienate you as an audience <laughs> for me to get a very, very small little finger tattoo right here? How would you feel about that? Vikinos. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to hear it. Ooh, lots of no's. I'm seeing yes and do it, and I'm seeing no. I'll be pissed. <laughs> ooh, 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 look at that barbecue chicken. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it. A peek. I don't know if it's ready to flip yet. I don't think it, ooh. I don't think it is. Oh, maybe it is. One more flip. Final flip, ladies and gentlemen. Final flip. Oh, that's looking good. No. Ow. Come here. Last flip, folks. What's happened with the straw pole? You should get a tattoo of the phrase "partridge line baking sheet." You should get a tattoo. In case you couldn't hear, you should get a tattoo of the phrase "parchment line baking sheet." Pretty good. That's really funny. Wait, what, uh, what's another thing that I say? Shaggy Doe uh, brings some brings some, this to the party, or uh, let's get to know each other. Was a recommendation. Something something to do with fawn. What can I do with fawn, guys? Somebody design a fawn tattoo for me. Flavor lives. Flavor lives? <laughs> Where flavor lives? <laughs> flavor lives on. Atlas, do you have a stick? Let me get that stick. <laughs> Poisonous got? to dogs tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Poisonous to dogs tattoo. Clean plate club, I like that. Flavor town, I've never said that once. Oh, wait, we're in person. You pointed that out. Clean plate club, that could be fun. <laughs> Get to know each other tattoo. Is, another, is that another straw poll or is that the same one? It's another. <laughs> garlic bread, garlic bread. 
garlic bread. <laughs> That's funny. All right, um, do we have a little bit more barbecue sauce? Just, just another little splash would be amazing. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna brush these guys down when I take them off. It's gonna be any second now. Because they're looking gorgeous. Just a tease. Just teasing you. Is it a little dark? I feel like you can open it, or take it up, up a little bit. Oh, that's a little hot. You're right. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Perfect. Oh boy, you think you know what you're doing until you don't. A pretentious Latin tattoo of thick bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Good. They're like, like Chinese characters for thick bullets. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> that's really funny. Thank you for all the great ideas, guys. I really honestly think cilantro is the front runner. Get a tattoo of my greatest enemy. Your enemy's closer. That's true. That'd be about as close as I could get. All right. Well, as soon as we get the barbecue sauce out here, I think these these guys are done. I love uh, barbecue chicken wings with a whole bunch of like you know nice blackened burnt bits on them. You know the, the skin getting all crispy and, and, and dark. And uh, that's pretty much where we're at. So I'm going to take them out. I'm going to give them one last little slather of barbecue sauce. And then <coughs> I'm going to eat them. Because that's what you do. That's what you do with chicken wings. Move the plate? No. Why? Is it not center? Better? Do the radioactive sign but have cilantro in the middle. That's actually not a bad idea. I could do like a cilantro leaf in the middle of the radioactive. Or like caution... Don't worry guys, merch is coming. Keep your eyes open. Alright, last slathering. Here we go. Thank you. Thanks Amelia. Alright, here we go. Y'all ready for this? I mean, come on, get out of town. You get out of town right now. This is my favorite one right here, so I'm putting in, getting them really visible. Let's make you really, let's put you right up front, because you're my favorite. You're my favoriteest wing of, of all of them all. Oh. Now, let's, uh, now, one thing I learned, very, very important, is that uh, this Traeger grill needs to cycle down so I'm putting it in the shutdown cycle right now. And now it won't get broken. Alice, get out of here. Go on. Go on. All right, one last slather. Just for good luck. These, these are barbecue wings after all. We want them to be as barbecue as pale. Oh, man. You know, it, you know what I really love is to be doing this with uh, dinosaur barbecue sauce. That's from, from where Sawyer and I are from, Thick Boys. And uh, dinosaur barbecue sauce is quite unlike most barbecue sauces on the planet. And uh, it's really fabulous and responds particularly well to smoke and uh, radial saws going in the background. Oh man. I just want to like stack these together a little better and then I need to I need to gram this. I need to Oh look at that. Are you kidding me? Come on. Look at that. Get out of here. I'm gonna gram this guys, I'm sorry, but this needs this 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 calls for being grammed.
scoop this up. It's all about the plating, folks. Oh, that is some barbecue chicken if I ever saw it. And I've seen some barbecue chicken in my day. Mm. Only one thing left to do now, guys. Can you guess what? Eat it. I'm going to eat my, my favorite part. That's, these are really hot, so I'm going to wait just a minute. <laughs> these are really, really hot. Um, but, you know, just, just for, just for sh I mean, I know that these are definitely done, but just, just for kicks, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test them. Just for kicks on Route 66. Yep. That's climbing right where I want it to be. Huh. You know, st stunningly. This isn't quite where I want it to be. It's perfectly safe. It's 167, 168. But for dark me, I want it to be around 175. But um, it's still gonna be good. It's perfectly safe. It's just like dark meat has more fat, so it breaks down a little bit better uh, around 175. You know, we're still. I mean, the the little wing wingettes are gonna be great. Like these guys. These guys are well done. Really get in there. Hang on. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, there we go. Huh. Scared me. Yeah, just gotta check the temp on these guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm really mostly nervous about the uh, big drums here. Make sure that these guys are done. Wow, you know what? I'm sorry, these... Oh, wait, no, these are done. 50. Keep going. I mean, these could go a little longer. Do we want to keep streaming, or like, what do we want to do? Want to call it a night? It seems like calling it a night. We're losing viewers by the minute. Let's wrap it up. Yeah, no, these are done. They're perfectly safe. It's just, I would normally like to cook these to 175 dark meat because uh, then it's a little bit more tender. But I know this guy right here is going to be something really special. Look at this nonsense. Oh. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> I can go on my face. Yeah, I felt it get on the face. But uh, we'll address that shortly. Mm. Mm. These are not wings that you can eat cleanly. Ah, wow. Oh. Well, guys, thank you for hanging out um, with the all-time longest stream, that's it. Got a little water here. Water's good for you. Drink more water. Now I'm going to get down on get on down here. Can you keep pen up a little bit so I don't have to... Mm. My face clear of barbecue sauce? Yeah. Good. Good looking out. like a child okay oh, thank you guys so much for hanging out for so long for the longest ever uh, 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 Benjamin Babish or uh, basis Babish stream as I'm starting to lose it here um, this all turned out really really good I think my favorites probably the uh, pork tender one uh, that's really something special but if you're gonna make some barbecue wings I can't think of a better way to do it than on, on a, a wood-fired grill that you can smoke first and then you can crank up the heat and really get all this great you know, like char you know, lift it up so you can see what I'm talking about let's let's do a nice close-up here I mean you did close-ups before but I mean, look at that ch that char that we got going on there all the all the nice dark crispy bits like that's that's really fabulous right there back it up, uh, back it up right there yeah. oh there it is there it is that's a money char right there and um so thank you very much to Ace Hardware for providing these amazing grills. This Traeger's awesome. I really wish I could have one, but I live in, I live in Manhattan, so they won't let me. And uh, same here with this guy. 
the Weber Genesis 2 that has all these great features. It's got this, you know, eye grill system. It's got three burners, and it's, it's, it's just been super, uh, the two times we shot here, it's been super consistent and reliable, and, and uh, it's cooked everything fabulously. So thank you very much, Ace Hardware, for, for the grills and for your expertise and for sponsoring this episode. And um, thank you guys for joining. And uh, bye, guys. See you next week.